let's pass it on over to Mini Mini and Luigi's Mansion. Thanks. Hi, I'm Mini. This is Luigi's Mansion. I'm here with my commentator, Airshock. You want to say hi? Hello there. I'm Airshock22. I also speed around Luigi's Mansion max percent. Yeah, former world record holder right here. Yeah, so... former. Thanks, Gazi. <laughs> yeah, this is Luigi's Mansion max percent. And just right before we go, I'm going to do a thing which we always do in this game, where we set up a glitch before the run called Map Glitch. So I'm going to just go into this room and I'm going to do some text mashing and reset my game at the same time. Uh, I'm not sure that worked. Hold on. <laughs> so this is called Map Glitch. I'll just try that again. So basically, in this game, there's a mini map. And this is going to disable the mini map. That, that definitely worked. And it's going to just save a bit of time throughout the run. So, just before we get going, I'm going to just explain a bit about this run, because it's going to get going pretty quickly. So this is max percent, short for maximum. And it basically means we're going to do everything we possibly can in the game. And we'll explain all of the things in a bit, but the main thing is I have to collect every single bit of money in the entire game. So unlike most Mario games, there is a finite amount of money in this game and a fixed maximum amount of money. So if I miss a single coin, then it's not max percent. I have to get every single bit of money and money is found in chests and pieces of furniture. And uh, a lot of money locations are random, meaning that if you check them, the money might not spawn. But if I reload the room, then it will spawn or well, it has another chance to spawn. So I'm going to at the same time as collecting all of the money, having to keep track of which money locations I have and haven't got. So there's a lot of a lot of things going on in this run. I'm a bit nervous, but let's go. So I will begin in three, two, one, go. Good luck, Mini. Thanks. So right off the bat there, uh, we're playing on essentially a New Game Plus file right now, and I chose the Hidden Mansion which just means we play the game with a faster vacuum, which is pretty nice. So just checking some money right now. So the, the thing about this game is there are random locations, which we actually use a money tracker, which I will be assisting Mini with that, because it can be kind of difficult uh, balancing the two. Area 2 tends to get the most hectic when it comes to checking everything you've collected and things you haven't. So I will be helping them out you know, during a marathon. Um, but there are also certain objects that are guaranteed to give you money, like the dresser in front of this painting we see right now, that is guaranteed to give you your, your money right away. Yeah, but this one on the left is random. Yeah, so the main thing, so the main thing of this, of the speed of this game is trying to balance, like, how fast to catch the ghost versus, uh, like, when do you hit the furniture in between catching ghosts? so that you can clear room as fast as possible, also getting your checks in at the same time. Hey, no money so far. Wow. So this, so there's no money in the chandelier, the cabinet, or the side table. So what will happen is he'll have to move two rooms away in order to recheck the room later. Luckily, we are going two rooms away and we have to come back through it to get back to the next uh, location in about like two minutes. So we will be checking them on our way back. But uh, oh it can be kind of annoying for certain objects that are really, really, like, long distances from the doors to the object, like, in the ballroom. Wow, I have gotten zero money so far. That's, that's unfortunate. Out of seven checks. <laughs> you know what's funny, though, is that, you know, this is a good omen, because I had one last week uh, like that, and when I came through, every item spawned for me afterwards. Oops. I wanted to get that this right is guy probably the most. This is probably one of the most chaotic rooms to start with. It seems like the money just goes everywhere, but there is kind of a method behind behind all of it. Oh, yeah. and another thing you have to check is toads. You have to somehow just talk to them to make them light up the room and... What? Oh, you saved. <laughs> yeah, I'm saving. <laughs> I, I, was, I was very confused by what that text box was. Yeah, so in this wardrobe over here, we have the first speedy spirit, which are very fast-moving ghosts, and they drop a bunch of money. So there's, I think, I believe... 15 of them, or 13 in the whole game. You're gonna have to get all of them, of course. You see the money is just everywhere. <laughs> so the thing with the money that also makes this run a bit of a challenge for new players is that um, the coins, they have a spawn time on them. So you have, I think, 15 seconds from the point of spawn to before they disappear completely. And if they despawn, they're gone forever and you have to reload your last save. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, so he's getting really unlucky with his money right now. He still missing two items in this room okay. at least. I got the wardrobe oh. and the two on the right. And yeah, then... I don't think this run would be completed if there were no save points. I really don't think there, that'd be possible. <laughs> like, in fact, I think Skazi during his world record run actually had a couple save points he had to reload. Yeah. So the, the thing about the spawning is uh, you also have to be careful with certain ghosts, uh, mice, and other uh, things that have gems in them. Because if you collect gems, then it actually, um, the timer for the coins actually keeps going. But you are frozen in place while Luigi celebrates getting the gem. Like for this, for example. So there's a ruby there. But when he collects the ruby, the coin's spawn timer's still going down. So that means you only have now like 12 seconds to pick everything up, which can be annoying on ghosts that have a large explosion of coins. Yeah, so when there's a gem, I usually try to get it last, but... Oh, <laughs> I just yeah. That one. <laughs> you also have to be very careful with uh, portrait ghosts like uh, Neville and anybody else, because you need to get them in one go, or at least 90 HP, so you get all the pearls, because that also counts towards your all gold portraits of the max percent run. Oh, you know, like this spread. Your bills are <laughs> everywhere. Wow, okay. <laughs> that was all good. Uh, was there a light in this room that you got? I did not get it. Okay. Okay. So one nice thing about uh, the money in this game is that bills always come in multiples of five and coins almost always come in multiples of five. So that makes it a lot easier to keep track of whether like, you've missed like a single bill or a single coin because the multiple of five will not be correct. So the main thing we check is in the coin counter in the bottom right is we look for, well in this like next couple seconds, it's gonna end in a four or a nine. Uh, after Chauncey, uh, due to the coins around his rocking horse, it's always going to end in a 3 or an 8 until like an hour into the run, and another item will change the number at the end. Yeah, basically in Area 1 there are those like freestanding points on the ground. Those just come in like random numbers, so that's going to change up the multiple of 5. But then after we're done with Area 1, there is only one location with a, multi of, bleh, with a number of coins that is not a multiple of 5. Oh yeah, so uh, one thing we actually didn't go over, so the map glitch, uh, th so what it does is we actually disable the map in the game. So if you were to hit the Y button right now, the map doesn't open up, in fact nothing happens mm -hmm. with it anymore. Like the mini map that shows the entire mansion. So now with the map glitch activated, what happens is whenever you get a key, it usually will tell you where that key will open, like which door it's going to open in the mansion. But with the map glitch activated, it... Um, it just doesn't happen. And basically, with the amount of keys we get, I think we saved like three seconds over the entire run. <laughs> yeah, it's not too much. Also, it's just there, I, Sorry. I, I just did some very strange movement where I activated the rocking horse from the left side of the room. That uh, skips a little text box and saves like one second. Yeah, so this, uh, this fight uh, was basically known for a long time to be like, you always had to do at least two cycles to beat him. But Minnie's gonna do an attempt here to do a one cycle, which was found how long ago? Because even uh, I don't know how to do it yet. <laughs> December last year, I think. Or November December. or something. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna be using an audio key for it. This is technically a double frame perfect trick. So I will need some quiet while I'm sucking up this coast so I can try to react to it. Focus time. I'm gonna be listening to his cries. Ah, dang. You not get it. Okay. So, so... Oh, sorry. Yeah, so basically, once you've done enough damage to him, uh, he will begin this animation where, after a certain amount of time, he will break off. And that amount of time is just not enough to get him in one cycle normally. But... Uh, basically, what I try to do is uh, just let go of the vacuum and then repress it on the next frame. And if you do that on the correct frame, then you can get a one Luckily cycle. Luckily for us. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm not <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, is, I was gonna say, luckily the risk isn't that big of a deal. I think you lose three seconds if it fails, but you gain 30 if it succeeds. Because yeah. typically we would let go before 50 HP. Because if he goes under 50 HP, he does a more difficult cycle that's a little bit longer. But when you uh, when you fail and you go, uh, or when you when you let go before 50, he'll do the two fast cycles, and then you save three seconds as opposed to trying to get as much HP as possible. Yeah. Okay, All so right, that is so... area one done, which is <laughs> area one is actually one of the scarier parts of the run, I would say, because it's mostly just because we don't have any booze for save points. Yeah, so that's the thing we haven't mentioned. So in this game, like in a lot of games, you can just like pause the game and save whenever you want. In this game, the only there are only two ways to save, or actually three ways. The first way is to talk to Toad, like I did earlier. The second way is at the end of each area, you get a save prompt. And the third and main way we're going to be saving is every time you catch a boo, which we'll see later in the run, you get a save prompt. So I'm going to be saving on pretty much every boo I come across, because like I mentioned earlier, the RNG money locations, or well, any money location, will only ever spawn once. So if I miss, like, a coin or a bill or anything, I will have to just reload a save to try again. And so. unluckily for us, there are actually some some uh, locations in the game that have uh, buggy hit detections for their coins. The most infamous one being a bucket that is in the laundry room. And we'll be encountering that probably in about 10 minutes or so. And what happens is it has a five coins in there, but the problem is that the, the bucket is kind of like wedged into the wall. So when the coins spawn, the coins may fall out of bounds and they'll be impossible to get back afterwards. Meaning if, even if it spawns the money and you picked up everything you can see, doesn't mean we have all the coins and you'll have to reload the safe. This is the bane of our existence. Like we basically consider it like, is this run good? Oh, the laundry bucket spawned without uh, having to reload a save. That's a good run. And we basically hang on to that run. Yeah. And then the other location that can go out of bounds is the very final money location in the entire game, which is really fun. So you might yeah. get a run all the way to the final boss, and then in the last room before the boss, your money just goes out of bounds ten times. <laughs> yeah, and it's like a 30-second walk to there every time. Okay, and then in this room, there are three pairs of Shy Guys. We're gonna be trying to get some nice doubles here. This one took me a, li a lot to get it, like, going, like, consistently. Yeah, this is, like, actually one of the hardest rooms in the game. But they went pretty well. I don't know, you saw my balcony last week, or the rooftop yeah, last week, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Bush Channel, this nice. No, nice. So, one other thing that is a massive run killer, aside from the out of bounds uh, type of items, is um, something. So, the golden mice. So, there are five golden mice that are pretty much guarantees because all you have to do is take a picture of the cheese and it just spawns right away. But then there are other ones that will only spawn when you enter that location, and it's a 20% chance of it showing up. So, four of them are not too bad. Or, sorry, I should say three of them are not too bad. One of them has like a, like basically a 15 second walk to respawn it. The other one takes two and a half minutes to respawn it every time. Yeah, it's real bad. <laughs> basically that mouse that takes two and a half minutes, that is the decider of whether your run is going to be like under two hours or not. So I'm not sure if you can see he, what he was doing. He was trying to avoid spawning the ghost because it makes it easier to collect done. all of his money. And oh, uh oh, do you have everything? Yeah. Okay, you got it. <laughs> I'm behold this thing. Me. Okay, got the bucket. Oh, nice. Now, that bucket is also a painful one to respawn if it doesn't show up, because it's a like 15 second walk to respawn it again. Okay, and what I just did there was, you saw me like walk into that corner with the vacuum out, which looked a bit weird. But after we move this wall, you're going to see there's a button on the wall, and normally that button has a poster covering it. So what I did is I actually sucked off the poster from, uh, like, before moving the wall during the time in between the ghost cycles, so I don't have to suck it up now, and I can just hit the button. And here's the no out of bounds uh, bane of our existences. Booze! <laughs> I think this is what causes time losses now in the world record runs for this. Yeah, booze. Booze are interesting. 
so there are 50 boos, and like I said earlier, each boo, you get a safe prompt after it, which is really nice for this run. But the boos have varying health, and some of them are really aggressive, some of them are really fast, really slow. They all are slightly different, but we have to get every single one of them. So luckily for us, we are going back through the first three rooms that we went through in Area 1, which means we now have another chance to check some of the items that we didn't get. So that would be the parlor chandelier, the end tape, the anteroom end table, the left one, and the left chandelier in the anteroom. Yeah, in one of my recent runs, I actually completely forgot about this chandelier. <laughs> how, about, how about this? How about for getting up Ghost and Blackout? <laughs> True. Yeah, so uh, one of the one of the things, if you ever played this game, there's a point where the power goes out and like all the rooms are dark again. So there are actually three speedy spirits that spawn during that time, and uh, you have to suck them all up, which you wouldn't really know unless you explore. And when you're just trying to beat the game as fast as possible, you don't really enter those rooms like at all. So I got two of them and I forgot to get the third one. Okay, so. Uh, what I just tried to do. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> what I just tried to do was a tech skip, where I tried to suck up the boo and then suck up the tablecloth just after, but I just barely missed it and sucked up the tablecloth first, so I got the long text. Because the first boo you get is a really long text. So what do I need in this room? Like, uh, the left <laughs> table and the left chandelier. Okay. <laughs> usually, usually this would not qualify as a legit run since it's now co-op, but you know, marathon run, we're taking precautions. Not that. Because there will be okay. times when we'll be doing a run, and it'll just be like, wait, did I get this? And you'll keep trying it over and over, expecting the money to spawn, and then eventually someone will look at like the VOD and be like, yeah, you already got this. Which means you just wasted 10 minutes for nothing. So what are you getting those two chandeliers later on? Okay. And in this hallway here, there is a golden mouse which I need to get at some point and we're gonna pass through here a bunch of times during area two so hopefully we just get it one of the trips don't have to reload yeah. haven't gone yeah, yet, right though. there at the bottom of the hall there that's why you see him constantly going down there hmm. yeah so we're just going back to some rooms and getting booze right now because we need to get five booze before the game lets us progress this bucket is so painful right here. This is also what can ruin like a minute of your run just because the bucket won't spawn there, but we don't have to worry about it because we already got it. All right, and the strat that I'm doing for boost is called R pumping. So basically the way boost work is when you put your vacuum on them, uh, they will stay in place for 10 health and they will do what's called a cackle, which is like the laughing sound they make. And after they've made 15 cackles, they will just leave the room. So what I'm doing is I'm basically just putting away my vacuum and then really quickly pulling it out again to kind of refresh that 10 HP that it stays in place, and I can do that 15 times. So generally we can only one cycle booze with 150 HP or less I am. Wow, you are getting that. so unlucky. I am just waiting. <laughs> Go to the bathroom, respawn it. Good point. That's fine. Yeah, so that's also one of those like strats you can respawn the room. If you have to wait for a poison mushroom, you must be like, oh, let me just go two rooms away while I wait. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> okay, well I got the cabinet. So poison mushrooms are basically our kryptonite, because if it hits you, you lose 10 coins, and you lose your ability to use the vacuum while you're small. Okay, well, <laughs> not getting the light right now, I guess. Nope, so I have that waiting. <laughs> and something interesting is about to happen. When I talk to this toad, it lights up this room, and then I mirror warp, and we never lit up the parlor, but for whatever reason, if we mirror warp from here, then it lights up parlor as well. Although if you talk to him now, he still acts like he's crying, even though he's literally not crying in front of us. Do that now. This is also, so I've been trying something in these runs and I've been trying out a different route so that I can get that laundry room basket out of the way quickly. And basically the butler cycle that we do is going to be a little bit weird, but he's going for the strat that is more consistent. Yeah, I am doing very safe. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew you were not going to do that today. <laughs> okay, it's one then... of the weird rooms that has no money in it whatsoever. Yeah. 
I'm gonna be going for... So this is the room where you get the fire medallion. And normally after you do that, you have like a really long text box and you have to do a puzzle to leave this room. Well, I'm gonna be doing a save and quit, or a save warp, at the same time as picking up the medallion. You hopefully skip all of that. Your, the puzzle is definitely in quotation marks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just get fire and light the six candles. I'm gonna open the chest and then start sucking on the blue. Get knocked back into the medallion, so Luigi picks it up. It counts as rescuing the toad with the warp. Sorry, I was saying it's someone in chat. And it does count as rescuing the toad with the warp. Um, it just it becomes a time loss if you have to save and talk to the toad. Because you have to go through his whole text and we skip anyway. Ah, uh, we got that one. I got sound glitch. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. You can't hear I anything? Need... Yeah. So there's this really fun glitch in this game. Where sometimes all of the sound completely disappears, and I just got that, and you have to hard reset your console to fix it. You have to do the map and glitch again. I... yeah, I guess I'm just not doing map glitch. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't You're save enough time. Jeez. Well, I mean, so yeah, you have, to you have to remember to mash B now at the keys. Yeah. Uh, so that's fun. Thanks, game. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I do not. Oh no, I got the light again. Okay. Okay, we got it again. <laughs> so yeah, normally that wouldn't be too big of an issue, but the gold mice in this category that we have to get, uh, their cue so that you know that they spawn is they make a little jingle sound, and I really need to hit that to know if they spawn. Uh, you don't have that gold bar, by the way. Yeah. Now you do. Oh my god. Okay, so there was please, that map. Please that grab up. it. <laughs> oh, my mouse. There we go. Okay. And then for these gold mice, you'll notice I'm doing a thing where I kind of walk into the mouse as I suck it up. And because when the mice have gold, well, not gold, uh, when they have bills, they kind of explode upwards. Oh god. Oh, oh, careful. Okay. <laughs> that, those they bats are trolls. Yeah, so when, if a mouse has bills, they kind of explode upwards, but if you just walk into the mouse as you suck it up, then you can basically just suck up those bills in like a single frame. It's very convenient. Alright, there's okay, so the there. Yeah, do not do that bucket unless you save. Holy crap. Yeah, so this is the, uh, I'm on normal mansion, what am I doing? What? <laughs> Why? Okay. Because my, my... Okay, hold on. <laughs> Because right. when I reset, my, my TV takes ages to turn back on, so I didn't see it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hold on. Okay, just... You might just have to abandon this room. Okay, yeah, just everyone calm down. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, my vacuum is really slow now. And don't get a poison mushroom. So poison mushrooms actually come from portrait bosses if you take too long to suck them up, but like that will just about never happen on Hidden Mansion because we suck them up so quickly. Yeah, I got, got the light. Light. Yeah, we didn't check the laundry room light. These were just getting a boo as fast as possible to save and go back to Hidden Mansion. <laughs> yeah. Also check your bucket on the way in. Oh, I should. Okay, uh, I got the light and the candle. Okay. We're on the correct mansion now. Yeah. You'll know, actually notice the only way to d differentiate is the star in the bottom right next to the money counter. That tells us we're in Hidden Mansion. You have the vase outside here. Uh, I got the hat, right? Um, okay. yes, you did get the hat. Yeah. So I need that light and the bucket. Okay, so that was a bit chaotic for a minute. That's fine. <laughs> All because of an audio glitch. Yeah, okay, so I already got the boo in here. Got that cabinet. Perfect. Butler room is clear. Yeah, so the money tracker I'm, I'm, I'm doing right now, I'm using right now, is actually made by Mini himself. 
Uh, it is basically just uh, several screenshots of the uh -oh. mini-map in the game, and then they have little, like, tick marks in them for the objects in the room. Yeah, and this room can be a bit scary, so I'm just gonna go super safe in here. Take it nice and slow. Yeah, four of these chests have ghosts, and then some of the chests have money. Luckily, they're fixed positions, but still can be kind of nerve-wracking. Okay, both things in here. Perfect. Uh, I'd say grab the boo before you grab the middle chest. Yeah, I, I always do that. Even um, in normal runs, or? Yeah, I'm too scared of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice quad here. Very loud. So as you can see, the boos spawn in random locations, and I have to read my boo radar in the bottom right, and it can be a bit tricky sometimes. And then this chest has three gems in it, and as I mentioned, I want to get the gems last, because as you're picking up the gems, the timer for other money to despawn still continues. There is a coin. coin in the gems, unfortunately. Yeah, this uh -oh. is not good. Uh-oh. Uh, it's behind the ruby, at least. There's one in front of me. Oh, line. yep. And yeah. there it goes. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so, that's why I saved before that. So that's what can happen when you pick up a gem at the wrong time, is you can literally see the money spawn in front of you as Luigi's gloating about his freaking gem. Yeah, luckily you have the goblet. Um, okay, uh, you have all well the goblets, you have the entire sure. butler room. You just have the laundry light and the laundry bucket. I'll, I'll leave the bucket for now. Oh, that worked. Okay. Oh, wow. Let's try this again. Did they fix that in the remake? <laughs> I don't know. Did they fix anything in the remake? You know, <laughs> no one's played it. <laughs> I didn't even know it existed. I oh my speed god. Runs. Oh no, it's on the right. Get me out. Oh no. Hands. Okay, I got it. Oh my god. <laughs> So it was literally uh, about to despawn okay, yeah. as he picked it up. I got all the bills as well. Okay, so I just have the lights and the bucket in here. Mario. And the chest. This can also be a little nerve-wracking because the boo can sometimes spawn in the bucket. And I've had it happen where it was in the bucket. As I was sucking up, it moved and then the bucket spawned with the coins. Then I had to reload the like save way before that. Okay, still no light. Okay, so I definitely want to save on this one. You can do a save skip in this in this room, but it's not worth it given our circumstances. Okay, no RNG for that bucket yet. All right. Just because we have the save, we're just gonna recheck that bucket right away while we have our save just ready to go for the bucket. Mario. Come on, bless RNG. Okay, we got the bills. Uh, I'm gonna just come back later. Yeah, so th that's fine. Luckily, uh, if like, uh, it's possible to come back to all these rooms at the very end of the run when everything but the last room is lit up, but it can still be kind of a nuisance to do that at the very end when you think you're on a really good run. Okay, we got some nice music in this room. I think we do we have time for donations during this? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do some donations. Well, just a lovely reminder for everyone that uh, we are accepting donations on behalf of Planned Parenthood Federation of America. Planned Parenthood Federation of America is uh, a charitable organization that supports all sorts of people having access to the health care and resources that they need. They state that your health is their highest priority and believe that your body is your own. And RAF fully supports them in this belief. They provide safe access to birth control, uh, hormone therapies, STI treatments, and so much more, and are a truly wonderful cause. So if you would like 
to help us in raising money for them. I personally have a history of uh, having a family member work there in the past and can say from an internal perspective that they do amazing work for so many people. It's truly a worthy cause. So please exclamation point donate if you would like to help us out on that. It can certainly say Luigi has something to donate if he would like to share. Yeah, Luigi's hoarding be... all the donations? At, listen, it cut, at the end it comes up to 142 million. He's going to donate none of that, unfortunately. <laughs> really rude. Really rude. Exclamation point, donate, Luigi. <laughs> if you can type that with your fat, glovey fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that got personal. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this area is a bit scary. There's a lot going on in these two rooms here. So I'm going to be activating this portrait ghost and then leaving to the next room. And here we have a gold mouse that we need to spawn. Oh god. It's one in five for each load. Luckily, the gold mice, you only have to go one room away to retry them. I'm counting in my head how many times this takes, because I've seen 20 tries for myself. Four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, <laughs> my god, okay. nine. Listen, I'm just impressed that a speedrunner can count that high. <laughs> wow! Shots fired. Okay, so that's the mouse in this room. Then we have a speedy spirit as well. Okay. You gonna do the same strat? Yeah. So the thing right there is there's a sink, oh. and if you <laughs> oh, oh it grab it at first, um, if you grab the speedy spirit next to the kitchen sink, coins can fall into it, and they are impossible to get it when they're in there. And when I mean impossible, I don't think it's even possible to get them out. Uh, coin went really far. <laughs> okay, and I will just check this camera. Alright, so, still need the cabinet and still need Lug's cabinet. You know what I'm shocked about in this room? So, we like the oven with fire to get a ruby, but we never put water in the dishwasher for a gem. Oh, it makes no sense. Come on, be consistent, Nintendo. What do you think we're paying your games for? We got the second medallion now. Yeah, so all this time... So all this time, while he's doing this room, Lugs is still basically acting like he's fighting us in the next room. So then, we basically wait for a queue where he's uh, really tired, we can walk I right in to attack him. Oh, I barely missed that. Oh, I'm like, so now you have... <laughs> gonna wait for the next one. Yeah, so normally there's like a kind of set cycle that you go for on this guy, but because of that RNG on the mouse, there's absolutely nothing consistent we can do in this cast room. So we just have to kind of hope that he's on a good cycle when we get there. Okay, yeah, so a chest does spawn in that room, but we have to come through this area again anyway, so we just get that chest later. It's a little more convenient for us to grab it. Okay, we're coming up on the end of area two now. And in this boneyard, we have a nice little dog, but more importantly, we have this little thing in the dirt over here, which you want to water. So we have to come back here in every area of the game and water that thing there, which ends up being a flower. And a lot of money in it. Yeah, a, a whole lot of money. Also, I need basically, to get I, Basically, uh, getting 100% yeah. in real runs without that is, like, very difficult. Yeah, okay, so I need to grab a heart because I guess we haven't actually talked about the requirements for uh, <laughs> max percent. But basically, I need to have 90 HP for the bosses, and I'll explain why in a second. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, how about I do that? Um, so, gold portraits are something you see in be after the end of every area when you're talking to EGAD. 
He shows what gold, what uh, either gold, silver, or bronze portrait you get with the portrait ghost. Oh, yeah. Um, so for the regular portrait ghost you see, like Melody and the Butler, the only requirement for that is to get all the pearls. But for bosses like Chauncey, Bogmire, Bulossus, and King Boo, you need to finish the battle with over 90 HP. Okay, and that, that is a... also counted towards our max percent. That was a terrible graveyard. Yeah, um, yeah so, so max percent, what do we need? We need all of the portrait ghosts, all of the boos, all 50 of them. We need every bit of money in the game. We need to light every single room. We need to save all of the toads by talking to them, make them stop crying. Uh, is that it? Yeah, it. basically the coin count goes 1,536 coins, 1,260 bills, 61 gold bars, 10 sapphires, 10 emeralds, 10 rubies, uh, 5 clear diamonds, five, 2 gold diamonds, 2 red diamonds, uh, 76 small pearls, 76 large pearls, 19 large pearls. Okay, oh, not a great scary. one cycle, but a one cycle. Yeah, that one cycle is definitely one of those, like, this is the the way, like, um, rites of passage, I guess. Yeah, that, that boss is basically just a normal ghost, except he has a really strong pull, and, like, if you mess up the suck up much at all, then he'll break off. Which, uh, actually, we haven't really talked about how we suck up ghosts in this game. So, <laughs> they're, they're, kind of, they're kind of similar to booze in that you do, like, 10 HP at a time. So what I'm doing is I'm holding R to suck onto the ghost, and I'm holding my control stick away from them. And they will lose 10 HP really fast, and then after 10 they'll like slow down losing health. So then I put the control stick back to neutral for one frame, ideally, and then pull back again. So I'm just in this kind of motion of pulling away for 10 frames and then going to neutral and then pulling away. So you have to be really good at tracking where the ghost is. There's the gold portrait for Bogmire. Boom. Yeah, and and also, not only not only is the border a gold, but also the picture itself will be different. Yeah, each portrait ghost has the three different portraits. Imagine Max was saying you'd have to get all three types of portraits. <laughs> so that is the end of area two. So I think we have a little bit of time for donations while he's going to the courtyard. Just a tiny yeah. bit. I will any. happily give you that. I have sixty dollars here from the one, the only Borco Borco Ian Doggo, who says I collected this money. I guess I should donate it. <laughs> Thank <Thanks>. you for <laughs> being a cool, a cool friend who's way cooler than Luigi. So if Luigi... we're gonna diss anyone in this game, it's gonna be Toad. Is Toad <laughs> charitable? Is Toad collecting the money? No, but he's definitely something we need to collect. Okay. Wait, you can collect a a a, a living oh, yeah. toadstool? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just confirming. <laughs> Are we like collecting their tears, and that's why they're not crying? And you know what? We're we're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Do you know how much easier our lives would be if the toads' uh, tears could give us water for our vacuum? Ooh, that would be a really interesting idea. They put that in the remake. Oh, listen, we're gonna have a fan remake, and I'm adding that. Mario. Okay, wow, I'm getting all of the money that I missed. Uh, I need that coin, please. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, if you saved right now, you would have saved with 512, and that is, uh, dead run. Mm -hmm. Oh, close to it. Okay, uh... You got, you got Melody, you got the bays, and you got both the bathroom stuff. Okay, so this is Courtyard, which normally not much happens in Courtyard, but in this category, it's really scary. <laughs> Probably um, one of the scariest, honestly. Yeah, and actually, before I started watching you do Max Percent, I had no idea that you could light up the courtyard. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I think I did Max Percent, and then you decided to follow along a little afterwards. Yeah. Okay, so normally you would just go into the well here and continue on. However, I've got some ghosts. Why are you not killing these pink things? Why? <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> Dude, These pink there. things are the bane of our existences here because if they hit you, you lose coins and they just are relentless. Wow. 
Okay, so I'm gonna keep track of if any coins go in the well here. Uh, looks like, uh, jeez, that's close. Nothing, okay. Yeah, hold that off until at the end. Wait, did it just despawn? Okay, we got it. That was fine. Oh, I thought it despawned. Okay, cool. That's one that of those scary, scary chests to explode. Yeah, and then there is another scary part in the courtyard, oh, but thankfully okay. there is also a toad, so I get to save before it. This is easily the most frustrating part of the run, because it doesn't give an explanation why there's stuff missing. Yeah, so there's going to be a statue and it's going to explode out a bunch of money, and sometimes some of the bills just disappear. Because I, I believe the reason is that this room, even though it's like meant to be outside, I think it has a ceiling, and sometimes bills just get stuck in the ceiling. I always want to say, like, it gets stuck in the wall that where the camera is. Like the, the wall yeah, of the maybe. house. Maybe there's a window or something it gets caught on. Perhaps. Anyway, so in here we're just going to talk to this guy through the wall. No innuendos, please. What's funny is if you actually talk to him further into that wall and he does the little, like, aha, he'll actually punch and move himself during that cutscene. Okay, we got everything. Nice. I, I, I save it now. Save now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please. Okay, and then we got Biff Atlas's room, which is another one of the optional portrait ghosts. Got a nice speedy spirit in here. See, when they talk about, like, how does the UFC fighter make all this money? It's just because of the portrait, the speedy spirit ghost that they okay. catch during their training. Okay. Luigi is buff. Oh, no. Uh, what? <laughs> what, it, what is this? Okay, hold up. Just everyone calm Yeah, down. yeah. Okay. A poison mushroom, though, my god. So, I guess we haven't said what happens if a poison mushroom hits you. Uh, if I it did. hits you, you... Oh, you did say? Yeah, I said that when we were doing the battle oh, you okay. got it three times. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, yeah, if it hits you, your coins just explode everywhere, and there's basically zero chance of you getting them. So you got the light there, right? Yes, I got the light. Alright, I couldn't see it in all the friggin... Okay. All the pearls. Gonna just get the chest first. You have to be careful sucking up the coins because you can accidentally yeah. hit the the boo that's hiding in the exercise bikes. But gold bars are also a weird thing because they can despawn, but their their uh, respawn timer tends to like pause when you're grabbing a gem for some reason, and we don't know why really. Yeah. So when I say I like to get the gems last in these things, it's okay to leave gold bars because their timers do pause with the gem, so that's fine. And then coming up is the tea room, which is, in theory, not the worst room, but I tend to mess this up a lot for some reason. Remember, <laughs> two remember your training. Yes. Remember your training, training Daniel son. To get poison mushrooms. So there's a um, mouse in this room. Oh, there it is. Okay, guess I'm just getting oh, the gem. Oh, jeez, <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't worry about him. Well, I guess that works. Okay, we got it. Okay. Uh, where's he gone? Um, he died. You wired him twice. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't think I hit him the second time. And the second mouse. So I'm gonna try to suck him up facing to the left so that his money explodes in that direction. And I'm getting the gem again. Thanks, game. <laughs> okay, this looks like a fine spread, though. Yeah, okay, cool. That was great. What's weird is with 10 uh, rubies in the entire mansion, three of them are in this one room. Yeah. There's also one in this table over here. Oh, this cabinet thing. So we're like not even halfway through the run, and we already have, what was that, eight rubies? Yeah, eight. Nothing in there. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, oh my god. Really good. Um, breaker room, speedy spirit? I, I do that later. It's fine. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yes, don't worry. <laughs> I'm 
so used to getting injured in Area 2 that seeing it now in Area 3, I was like, is it gone? No, it's been still there. <laughs> okay, so I definitely would like to save on this boot. This and is a next... hallway that we go down where you only have like one shot to get all the stuff down here. So there's not really like a time we come back later. It's you come down this, you beat it, and then you're you're done for the rest of the run. So. Yeah, all, all of these rooms down here are going to just be glaring them right now. And there are two portrait ghosts mm -hmm. around here. We got this one, which is what we needed ice for. Is that appropriate for stream, that bat? Hmm. Just trying to get some cleanliness. And these pearls tend to get stuck in the bath, but we got them. Luckily, it's like a zoom in, and then when they're all congested in the same like pixels, they just tend to let you lift up the vacuum. So that's not there. So this thing is in the checklist, that cabinet. I'm pretty certain this is a guarantee. Yeah, I'm pretty certain as well. <laughs> yeah. But that's fine. <laughs> okay, this speedy spur is not one of my favorites because the table is really awkward. But... What's good for us uh, is that the speedy spirit went to the to the right when you were finished there. If it goes to the left, it'll tend to spawn all the coins where Nana is right now. And that can be a pain to grab all those coins. And just three quick shots of yawn onto them. Why would you hit grandma? For fun. <laughs> For fun. <laughs> we are literally their grandparents where it's just like, hey, Nana, watch out. And you just throw stuff at them. <laughs> uh. You're the bratty little grandkids. Hey, so I didn't get the light in here, so I need to check this again. No light. Um, we also need that bill base that's outside. Yes. And then, so this whole time, from area one up to now, our coins have been ending in either three or eight. But in this bathroom to the left is the the only other point in the run where there is a number of coins that is not a multiple of five. So after I get the light in this room, which I did not get this time, but when I do get it, my coins will instead be ending in 1 or 6. And it will be like that for the rest of the run. I never know what kind of genre that Monsters Band makes music of. I am unsure. Uh, horror, horror core? Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> okay, so just so has light now. Yeah. Oh, you got the vase, didn't you? There we go. So three coins in there for some reason. And yeah, I got the vase. Perfect. All right, so you had the gold vase out here. You just need the coin vase that's in this hallway. Uh, wait. Give that one. Wait, did I? I thought I yeah. didn't get any of them. No, you got the gold bar. Oh, okay. That's why I'm here. I will trust you. <laughs> good point, good point. Okay. Uh, this is one of those rooms where it's like, even depending where you look, will change how you grab these ghosts. Yeah, I tend to get that chandelier in the middle while I'm grabbing these ghosts, but yeah. it's safer. You were it just prefer to grab them before you get them. Yeah, I was about to say you, you should do that between cycles, but I'm just playing safe right now. Marathon. The marathon of safe strats. Okay, so reading the boot radar in this room is really annoying. <laughs> Yeah, so the way we check the boo, if you're not, if you don't know how we check it, it's the little light on top of the money counter. If it's red while we're looking at an object, that means a boo, a boo or a fake boo is hiding in there. Wow. Um, okay. Wow. Oh, wow. Mario. So that boo Where's... just machine gun cackle. <laughs> oh, did it in the chandelier. Oh, wow. So that thing just disappeared into Nana's room. So that can happen sometimes, and luckily it didn't go into the ante room in area one because we'd have to go all the way back there for that one boo 
Alright, so I think we just have the cutscene with the star now, so I definitely think we have time for donations right now. Yes. Uh, may I have a quick aside? I have a question for you. It's not from chat, it's just from me. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm I'm gonna be greedy like Luigi. Um, <laughs> but but I, I just was curious, um, because I have heard of Luigi's Mansion Max Percent before specifically. What makes Luigi's Mansion as a game lend it so well that it lend itself so well to Max Percent that it seems uh, to be a much more run category in this game than literally any other game I can think of. Max Percent's not a super common one. I think my shout intended to bring it up into the Oh, into well, the that's map. helpful. <laughs> I, literally, I, like, I like how Minnie knows what I'm talking about. So yeah. I was actually the person who first got <laughs> under two hours, and it was a loud scream I had during that. It was, it it was one, like... of, one of the pop-offs of all time. <laughs> Like, it was, like, a meme, and it's, like, we had a bunch of other clips of, like, runners going, like, sub two, woo, <laughs> but it was, like, full on, like, my crackling when I was shouting it. <laughs> well, th so, a nice reminder of the power of memes. I don't think that was the answer I was expecting, but I accept it and appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for satiating my curiosity by screaming. <laughs> So when, so when I first ran this, I think there were only like three runs on the leaderboards. And then I think there's now like over 20. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Everyone just wants to be able to scream like Eshok. Including uh, Skazi, the world record holder, who I remember I quoted at one time, I will never run Max Ascent because it's such a degenerate category. <laughs> but he ran it like religiously until he got that good run. Yeah, Skazi was quite the runner. He would just do like 24 hour streams every other day. <laughs> so, the, the billiard room, I'm not looking forward to that. Yeah, I have actually practiced that skis for a lot. So. I'm curious to see what see your strap for that is. Okay, uh, both things in here. That's nice. Perfect. Yeah, if you ever suck up that uh, that screen that he's looking at, uh, it will actually break off. You'll lose coins. Uh -oh. You'll lose coins, and uh, Boo will appear in it like a jump scare. <laughs> I still got a triple something. That's bizarre. Oh yeah. Mario. Okay, so I definitely want to save here because in this next room is the worst speed spirit in the entire game. It's just, the room just does not lend itself well at all to the coins exploding everywhere. There's no furniture to stop the coins bouncing, and it's really big too. I'm gonna try to get all the bills first, come on. Okay. Uh, this is not great. No, that's not a good start. And also the pool balls don't help either. Oh, get it. No, uh, oh, okay, I got it. No, oh my god. I, I sucked up the pool ball and it stopped me from being able to suck up the gem. But I got it. Uh, I just want this. Okay, uh, I hope that wasn't too. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, is he still oh, gonna. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, when he reaches this side of the table, I should be doing this. Yeah, when he reaches that side of the table, he, like, hits the balls. But if you hit him with a ball as he's doing the animation, he stops doing it. And that yellow ball just bounced off like five walls and happened to hit him at the perfect time to cancel him from doing it. I think the only reason it hit him was because you threw it at one point, so it counted as trying oh to hit God. him. I, I suck at aiming, apparently. I really suck at aiming. Oh, oh, what? The mini! <laughs> Please! <laughs> also, he's also a weird portrait ghost to suck up, so... Every one of these portrait ghosts, they have like an angle that we kind of work with. The angle that which you can pull at him, that he'll actually start losing health. But for him, his angle is so small. Like you have to get him against the corner and to increase your angle of success. Yeah, each really each portrait cool. ghost, along with the booze, just have like their own kind of mechanics and their own specifics. And that guy, you have to like really keep track of his direction. Well, so you got that one. Oh my god. Please don't disappear. <laughs> just, just 
table is the, in the, my way. Please! Okay. <laughs> Who put the pool table in the billiard room? I don't know. Okay, still need that. I always send the vacuum there because sometimes you can hit the candles on top of the desk as opposed to the desk itself. Already? I did not know that. Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah, so I always vacuum. Okay, well, right, we so... got it now. So, yeah, these, like, four rooms are clear here, so you're good there. You still need the secret bays there. Oh, uh, whoops. Oh, yeah, I'll get that later. Yeah, so this is when we come back to water that plant again, and this just becomes a more uh, convenient time to... It come, becomes a more convenient time to grab this chest. Because it's right here. Yes, yeah, so we never grabbed this chest earlier, but we didn't forget. And then what do I still need in kitchen? The cabinet? Yeah. Uh, you still need the cabinet, yeah. Yeah, you still also yeah. need the cabinet in this room as well. Yeah, so in uh, in most Casper's, like 100% or all blues or something, you would... Oh, not all blues, <laughs> just 100%. Uh, when you come to water this plant now, you would do it at the very end of Area 3. But we actually want to do it a bit earlier because we need water for a plant in Lydia's room, which we're going to be going to later. And this is the only really convenient place to grab water. I think there's only like three places you really can grab water in the... Yeah, like, four places. There's, there's not many. It's like some of the bathrooms here. Um, Soupy's room. Yeah. Uh, the courtyard. Okay, so I got that cabinet. Can yeah, you can find fire one. in, like, a ton of places, and ice in two or three. Okay, and then oh. now is when I go to the breaker. Oh, you do it now. Weird. Yeah. I've never seen it done here. Yeah, I don't know if it's actually fast, but it, it's pretty nice, because you can mirror warp from here. Oh, yeah, that kind of makes sense. So, I, so, during my new run, so I go out of bounds to do the laundry room right away. Okay. And if the buck is... That does not normally happen, missing this speedy. No. This also, this room can also be a little bit pain of a pain with the mice flowing everywhere because your vacuum will get stuck on them. It like locks onto it. There's a bill behind. Uh, yeah. Uh, got it. Make sure you didn't lose it. <laughs> and got the light. Perfect. And there's just a nice mirror on this wall back here. Yeah, so when I get the laundry room bucket, um, I basically clear, not not really clear out, but the laundry room, the butler room, and the secret room are all clear. So when the butler is walking towards his room to kill time, I go and actually do the breaker room speedy spirit right away. And it's a very tight window to get it, but if I get it and everything kind of works out, I think I save time, or at least save grief. Uh, towards the door. the door. Door, door, door. 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 <laughs> Where'd Where? it go? Okay. Um, I think you well, have to do the l l water again. I need to get that shelf in projection. Not projection. Billiards kitchen. as well. Oh. Oh, wow. We're really that far. Okay. Wait, no, no. I did, I did kitchen boo. No. Uh, hey, you did kitchen boo. Yeah, so, okay, yeah, yeah. the kitchen <laughs> cabinet, you need to recheck. I forgot about this boo. Yeah, okay. Check that cabinet. Oh. Uh, that's a good point. You could have checked that there. <laughs> I will. So yeah, that is the pain of this run, is when you're coin, missing, okay. like, one bill, one coin. You have to reload your save and just hope that you saved at an appropriate time. So this is the kind of time loss that can kill your run. Alright, let's try this again. So we have the kitchen cabinet. Check the lugs cabinet on your way back. Thing is being a pain. We've checked that probably five times in this run. Yeah. Mario. <laughs> At least you got that. And let's try to not miss in this speed spirit this time. Shout out to Borco saying this game feels like inflation right now. feels too real. Yeah, so you can see sometimes when Minnie's trying to suck up coins, it gets, it gets locked onto these mice that are just roaming around. 
He didn't check the light. Oh my god, I can't. Please just scan the mirror. <laughs> okay, let's save this time, I guess. Yeah, it just... I've never seen a build disappear from that. Yeah, no, me neither. That, so that... I saw it fly towards the door. Did it go under the crack of the door? <laughs> like, I don't know. We may never know. <laughs> so we have the twins here that we're doing next. Wow, how hard was that? <laughs> apparently, apparently, uh, two minutes of trying to get that. That's kind of a satisfying T sphere to get because everything's just right through the ladder. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of uh, hide and seek right now. Yeah, so, so we're just going, yeah. going through this hallway to grab the booze we never got earlier, as well as do the twins. So and we boom. actually have to leave the room anyway. So what we do is we actually go to Neville's room to get the boo in there and recheck the light in here. No light. No light. That that's not good. Yeah, still need pretty much everything in this hallway. Yeah, you have so Chauncey's light and the dresser and the twins you have. So we actually vacuum the boxes to see if they're vibrating. If they vibrate, a twin is in there. Yeah. Would it, would it shock you to believe that the first time I ever played this game, I didn't know there was a mechanic and I was just guessing? I, and I think that's frustrated. the case for like 90% of people. <laughs> yeah, so the twins... The blue twin doesn't give you any pearls. The red one is the one who does all the damage. So if you let go blue early for some odd reason, luckily that doesn't affect our gold portrait, uh, our gold portrait, uh, percentage. I've seen Zircon Eagle. He's done doubles of twins sometimes, and I'm just like, how do you even yeah. go about that? That's, it's that's just like a, a standard strat in top level runs now. <laughs> People just yeah. got really good at it. It's over here still. It's again in there. Yeah, the annoying thing about Twins Double is that you basically have to have a different setup for every combination of boxes that the Twins might be in. Yeah, because the one that's in the plane also flies in different directions. Like, he either can go clockwise or counterclockwise based on where he was in. Let me check this light again. Come on. Nice. That's what be careful in this room. There's actually a fireball you can actually suck up. It'll get rid of all your water. Yes, I need this water <laughs> for the next room. Yeah, literally, this is all we come into this room for, is just this boot, because we already have the light. You'll also notice sometimes that when we catch a boot, Ega will talk for a little bit longer than usual. That's because sometimes we'll get a little unlucky with the uh, Bootex. Uh, where he cannot either talk about uh, checking the plants for water. Uh, he can uh, check for um, uh, the elements. Or he can tell you about Van Gore, who is the second to last boss in the game. And what's funny is that even after you get Van Gore, you have to catch a Boo. And when you catch that last Boo, he'll sometimes still talk to you about Van Gore as if we don't know who he is. And it's not in our vacuum already. <laughs> So you still need Just uh, the gold bar. Hmm. Alright, I tried to do another tech skip on that boot, but I just messed it up again. <laughs> tried Ooh, to suck up that bed sheet. Eskazu does a weird strat in this, where he spawns the emerald, then he does the fan. But the fan can be kind of inconsistent if you point at it the wrong way, and it can make you lose the emerald. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Skazi did a lot of really fast strats. Yeah, Skazi risky. goes for like the insane strat. It's really crazy. Okay, so this area is all cleared now. So the, uh, in area one, you still have the parlor chandelier and the answer room left chandelier. Mario. Yes, that's right. Mario. Okay, and yeah, the now bucket. throughout this area and a bit in area two, we've been collecting Mario's items, mm -hmm. which we now get to turn into the fortune teller. And we get to do a minute and a half of mashing text. 
This would be a great time for donations. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, reminder that uh, we are still here for Redex and Friends Rapid Fire 2023 and collecting wonderful donations for Planned Parenthood Federation of America. And we are currently at the beautiful total of $2,084.75. Never forget the 75 cents. But uh, we are less than $500 away from surpassing our grand total for Rejects and Friends 1 from 2022 last year, which was $2,536. It is absolutely wonderful to see how long or how far this event has come in such a short amount of time. Um, and we appreciate everyone's support in helping it to blossom and grow. Uh, like that plant that you need to water multiple times. Um, <laughs> oh, but boy. If you would like to help us support a wonderful cause, reminder, uh, exclamation point, donate. You can also see all of the wonderful runs that we have coming up soon um, with exclamation point schedule. There's, there's a lot. There's a lot to see. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are just about ready to suck up Clairvoyer. Clairvoyer actually controls differently to all the rest of the portrait ghosts because the law behind her is actually she like she wants you to suck her up. She's like come to peace with being a ghost, and so she actually you have to push towards her to suck her up instead of pull away, which is a nice little. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I just been mashing randomly on the sticks. Yeah, I mean that that's the best way to do it, but. <laughs> actually like consistent with her text like she wants you to suck her up so you just you don't have to fight her to do it um by the way do you have or have i got the the vase outside of laundry room i think uh, i have yes you have yeah okay my track is just wrong uh i did need that okay <laughs> yeah you still need that you also need the cabinet in the gym And the light up here, yeah. Yeah, you still need that. Oh, get ice. And I need this too. Wow, just getting nothing. No, nothing at all. Like my bank account. Also need the observatory gold bar. Yeah. There we go. I like how you instinctively start walking to the door. You're like, yeah, this isn't going to spawn. <laughs> yeah, so this is one of the more painful mice that we grind for right now. If we fail, we have to load back to the start of that hallway. And that one didn't succeed. Yeah, and also so we have walk to walk all the, way back. all the way up and down here to try it again. However, this it's, is nothing compared camera to... Moves, that counts as a room. Yeah. This may seem like a, a long time to reload, but this is nothing compared to what we'll see later. Oh, the sealed room. Oh my goodness. I swear, if that thing decides to curse us today, I, I'm, gonna, I'm putting a hit on that mouse. <laughs> That's three tries so far. Right. We have an emote, LM Bless RNG, if anyone would like to post it in chat. We could already use the Bless RNG right now. Right there. That is four tries. So again, these mice are one in five each. Come on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I would fun. say donations, but it can also just get cut off at any point. <laughs> we will Come likely on. have plenty of time for donations while we're retrying sealed room. Well, well, how about we try donations? Like, and at least one. Good luck, donations. <laughs> yeah. O okay, so we don't cut off anyone's donations. How Fair about we, we spend this time appreciating all of the wonderful people who have made this happen from behind the scenes? I'm sure they won't mind getting uh, their, their shout-out cut off, right? That's that's totally okay. <laughs> speaking of cutting off. <laughs> oh, God. We are. Uh. <laughs> exclamation point credits, I think. We're just going to jump to the end. Yeah, it's exclamation point credits. I jumped to the end of the blurb. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that mouse is that mouse is so mean. Thanks for the good luck credits. <laughs> okay, uh, need to get some health in this room as well. We're coming up on another boss, so I need at least 90 health. But before that, we got another gold mouse in here, but luckily not an RNG one. Cheese are luckily 100%. I do think Tea Room is probably the most difficult cheese mouse to manage. Yes. Because everything else is freeze. That's also why we get ice, because they're water ghosts and we have to freeze them in order to expose their hearts. You will get certain ghosts like that throughout the mansion where you need fire to burn their, to melt their ice. You need water to put out their fire or ice to, uh, to put out their water. Those garbage can ghosts can also be a real nuisance in Max Percent because they uh, have banana peels that they drop every so often. Uh, like that. Find my auto lock onto it and pull it towards me. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yeah, so if you don't catch a garbage coat can goes pretty much instantly, they will drop a banana peel. And then um, you can slip on it and lose your pull. And then you have to re find them again. Also you can lose coins from from oh getting God. hit by a banana peel. Please just vacuum, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, normally I, I like, would grab you? some hearts in that from the ghosts in that room, but I didn't get any. Yeah, so you got both of those lights, right? Yes. Perfect. And okay, now we got the boss of Area 3. Who lost us? You don't change the standard mode? No, I don't. Wow. Not right yeah, now. So sometimes you'll see some runners, they'll actually pause the game and switch their mode to standard. Which means when you're in a dark room, when, uh, like for example, Mini there, he was facing towards the booze. Like he basically walks where his joystick goes. But in standard mode, it basically acts like the C stick is your right stick in like first person shooters. You have to move it around. Yeah, to you mean get him to side face step it. mode. We switch to sidestep from standard. Yeah, I know that's very beneficial in uh, Blackout. I, I will be going sidestep at some point, just not for the beginning. Yeah. Anyway, so this is Bulosis. He's made up of 15 boos. And the strat is we want to explode him on the horn of this unicorn here. Grab some ice, and we're gonna just try to freeze all 15 boos at once. Just gonna back up, and hopefully they all group up together, shoot a nice ice ball. Try to get any straight ones that I missed. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, Oh, okay. seriously, there's another one? Oh. There was like four straight ones, but we got the one cycle. <laughs> god, it's been a while since I've gotten one cycle. I'm jealous. <laughs> That is Area 3 finished. Now we, uh, I think at this time we actually do have time for donations while we're waiting for Egad to talk. Do we also have time for just, just talking about Planned Parenthood some more? Because that's what I want to do. I'm, I'm making an executive decision to talk about Planned Parenthood because Planned Parenthood is cool! Planned Parenthood Federation of America is what Rejects and Friends is raising money for. I know I'm a broken record, but legitimately they do wonderful work and help all sorts of people to have access to health care and respect people as human beings which uh wow should not be a high bar but in some ways it is um planned parenthood federation of america states that your health is their highest priority and they believe that your body is your own uh we support them as they use the, the great money that is raised by our little event and also through all of their other means uh, to provide access to safe birth control, hormone therapies, STI treatments, and more to individuals who need them. They do a lot of great work. So remember that you can donate. You can be a not greedy person like Luigi. Luigi is greedy as not giving us this money. <laughs> Reminder. That's also an important reminder. I'm gonna need a command in chat for that. Oh, command is exclamation point donate, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Alright. Okay. Still no cabinet there. Jeez. Okay, so no, I know we're talking we're talking a lot about planned parenthood, but have we ever considered plant parenthood? 
Because we've uh, we've watered a few plants in this run, but I don't think we've watered enough plants, if you ask me. free access to fertilizer. Uh, listen, as, as uh, a person on Twitch, I have enough trouble hydrating myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the plant that we've been watering throughout each area. I'm getting a huge gold diamond. There are only two of these in the whole game, and they're worth 20 million, so pretty worth. And you notice I refilled on water before I left there. That is very important because, like I mentioned, we haven't been watering too many plants, and there are many plants in the game which need to be watered. A cabinet, all right. Yeah, so there's a lot of plants on the Bulas' balcony. Uh, every every plant, ex with the exception of two of them, have money in them that we uh, have to water for cash or gems. Um... Yeah, not really much. The only thing of significance during that is that there's a red diamond that is literally the worth of one coin in this game. Which, ironically enough, when you beat King Boo, uh, you get his crown, which is a red diamond, meaning his crown is worthless. Hey, it has the worth of one coin. That's not worthless. Yeah. <laughs> what? If you guys donated one coin to Planned Parenthood, it would still help out a lot. Yes, that does have value. Listen, if we miss one coin in this run, it's it's a worthless run. Okay, that one might be true. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is how max percent categories work. Yeah, which means the coin is worth a lot. It's worth yeah. the run being valid. Right, while it's you're watering these... Oh, sorry. Uh, I was just going to say, it's worth exactly how much you think that a red diamond should be worth. Which is yeah. a lot. Actually, still $5,000 in this game. Oh. Yeah, one coin is 5,000 money units. <laughs> I see, he's gonna be watering for a little bit. We have a time for like a donation or two. Okay, how about we give an actual acknowledgement to the behind the scenes staff instead of <laughs> sure. me just shouting exclamation point credit? <laughs> <laughs> go for it, go for it. Okay, Rejects and Friends is the. The lovely pet project of many wonderful individuals who do a lot of work to get this event up and running. Um, it's a lot more than just some sad little rejects who happen to be friends with each other. Um, special thanks to uh, 31 Jason, uh, Perry, Ghost Likely, and Angry Demon Noises for their time and expertise setting up Raph's technical side, which uh, has been working like a dream, by the way. You all know how uncommon that is with events. <laughs> um, you can also find a list of Raph's entire personnel, including runners, hosts, why would you want to find us, uh, artists, and commentators by typing exclamation point credits. There we go! That's what happens when you don't skip to the end! <laughs> Yay. <laughs> perfect timing as well. It oh, is perfect. Wonderful. The black, the black guy is being in. Uh, everyone find your, your buddy, hold hands with them. Yeah, not only is this very scary because it's all dark and there's ghosts everywhere, but it's also the scariest part of this entire run because during this entire blackout, we cannot save the game at all. There is no way to save the game in this sequence. And we have three speedy spirits that we have to get, which are exclusive to blackout. They only spawn during blackout, not before, not after. We have to get them, and if we miss a single coin, we have to redo everything, including watering all those plants. Yeah, so if he, if he loses a single coin or like anything like that, uh, we have to reload to before the blackout, which means we'll have to get the plant and all the Bulasis plants. Like, it, it's a pain. Alright. You can do it. Oh my god, okay. Oh no. That was okay. not meant to happen. Oh. Okay, just, just die, please. Yes, I got the gold. Don't waste all your water. Yeah, no, I, I mean, that's that's the least of my worries right now. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the first one. Okay, clear there. So now he's going to be taking care of the one ghost that we have to take care of in the actual route, which is uh, Grimly. 
This one has a bit of a luck uh, factor to it. Oh yeah, he's trying. To... It was a chandelier there, but I think you're checking that at the end of the run, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm. I'm not risking checking extra stuff in Blackout. That's a, oh, got Insta Grim. All right, so this is Grimly, and he just takes a random amount of time to show his heart. And when I say random, I mean the world record for the worst amount of time is 50 seconds. It's 50 seconds of standing here waiting for him to show his heart, but we got it instantly. That, it was cool. Was that during the race? Uh, no, it wasn't, but... Oh, that sure, was funny, though. I'm sure there was some really bad ones during some races, though. So we had a, we had a race uh, of just any percent no out-of-bounds, and... Um, what happened was some guy had gotten there first, and he was just waiting, waiting, waiting. There was some guy that's like 40 seconds behind him, and actually caught up and sucked up Grimly before the first runner ever managed to, like, suck him up. So it can kind of suck when that doesn't happen for you. So I didn't just... Did you get the gold bar on that balcony? Yes. I'm pretty sure I did. You said that with some question in your voice. <laughs> I, I'm like 90% sure I got it. Luckily, it's not one of those things that disappears if we have to do it at the end of the run. You, you can go back and check if you want. <laughs> uh, I, I think we're just good. We'll just hold off until we see what our gold bar count is. Yeah, just like keep a note of that, I guess. <laughs> yep. And then this is where the second Black House Speedy is. <laughs> the good luck hiccup. up. Not gold bar between rooftop, and then he got it. Or in nursery. Uh, so that sounds like it sounds so. like you may have missed it. Okay. Uh, either way, we'll just we'll check off on that. If you're at 59 gold bars, then we know where it is. All right, and then one more to get. Also, if you ever notice, uh. Uh, the ghosts are actually different in Blackout. Like, the ghosts that spawn in the room, like the normal ones, are all different in Blackout. Like, these ghosts are not in here in the regular... Like, I, I want to say daytime, but it's not daytime. And the last one is in this chair, and I find it safer to get it on the left side, so I'm just going to lead him over here. Oh, really? I've never seen it on this side. Yeah, I was just messing around with stuff for this guy, and... I found this to be more consistent. Huh, interesting. Do you have a moment for a, a larger donation? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. I, I, I think somebody is trying to pay to win shoutouts. I have $250 here from Ooh. Mac, who says, here is some money. Where's my shoutout? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so does it work? Can you buy... Can you buy shoutouts? Technically, yes. I guess so. Do we have to find it? Congratulations on your, <laughs> your shoutout. Or, or is, that the, the, is that the extent of their shoutout? Good job, you got a shoutout. <laughs> but thank you so much for donating to a wonderful cause. <laughs> Just think, if this is world okay. record, that's a very expensive shoutout. Oh. Okay, so in this room is a boo with 200 HP. I'm gonna try to one cycle it. You gonna charge at me? Nope, okay. I got oh, zero yeah, HP off of him. <laughs> <laughs> so normally that guy charges at you if he spawns from that barrel, but he just decided not to. And I'm gonna save after Black Ops. I'm not risking this. <laughs> you know you could have mirror warped, right? Yeah, I I, I normally do mirror warp, but <laughs> my, my no out of bounds instincts have to just leave <laughs> when he leaves. So did I actually save? I... <laughs> I felt like I mashed for it. Thank you to the one person who says they love my laugh. <laughs> Mario. Okay, uh. now we've got the cellar room, which is a bit scary because there's a lot of dust in this room which can kind of just block you and prevent you from moving around. And all that, you have to use the vacuum to suck up the dust and that can accidentally activate some of the money spots. Okay, should be so a pain got, if the dust is still in the way. We got two uh, on the right. Oh, one on the left. One on the left, alright. There's all a right. speedy spur as well. 
Also, that Speedy Spirit can also shove bills on the other side of the gate. You have to walk all the way around, like those two. Or not. I got them. Or mine. <laughs> were they on the other side? I think they were, but like, the head of my vacuum was going through the wall, I think. So I could suck them up. Oh, okay. Right, about uh, your double cellar there. Oh, was it two on the right, one on the left? Two, yeah, two on the right, one on the left. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, is this okay? Here. Yeah, so we have uh, quite a bit of a long walk up to the next room, so I think we have time for donations, do we, Manny? Oh, uh, just before I do that, I'm gonna check for breaker again all the all the boo yeah uh, yeah sometimes he is, he is back in here oh yeah, sometimes when they escape they will tend to like come back in here yeah, let's try it again there we go oh get it uh oh yeah not gonna he's escaping something. One HP. Uh, oh! Ooh, that hurts. That hurt my soul. <laughs> At least it wasn't zero HP, because booze can leave on zero. They can leave with nothing. They can yep. leave with nothing. <laughs> uh, they're literally hanging on by a straw. I thought the one was the straw. Where's the straw if they're at zero? <laughs> Percentage is zero point nine five. Still a zero. One. So yeah, we have time for donations right now. Okay, just a, a quick update on that last donation. Um, oh my god, uh, I, I'm sorry. So I was going to say congratulations to Cat for finally being ahead, and then I reloaded the page, and um, here is two hundred and eighty dollars from Beautiful Dandy. Wow. <laughs> who says shout out to Mac? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Mac. Excellent. Um, I'm very sorry, cat dog is now in a head again. Oh, <laughs> nice. D d you had a moment there, cat. You you really had a moment. <laughs> Thank you for Mac, the. What have you started? <laughs> Thank you for the incredible shout out to Mac. If you would also like to shout out Mac, uh, exclamation point donate in the chat. <laughs> Apparently the minimum is $280 now. You're bidding for the shout out. No, no, it's okay. It's it's just, <laughs> we can have all kinds of shout outs. I'm sure Mac will not be upset to have more shout outs. <laughs> um, but also, on that note, we have officially surpassed the donation total for Redux and Friends 1 from 2022. Wow. We, our nice. donation total is now $2,619.75, which is more than $2,536.00. That, that is how math works. I did math, aren't you proud? Um, <laughs> but thank you everyone so much for helping us meet this incredible goal. Just imagine that Luigi was <laughs> sucking up the donations for us. Oh, is is he changing his mind about letting us? Nah, it's just a metaphor. Oh, okay. Kind of like getting the money. It's equivalent to donations, I guess. Uh, oh god! Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Please don't get hit by that. Okay. Uh, by the way, did I right get... Bills, right? yeah. yeah, I got the right. Did I get the thing in... Uh, Biff's room? room? Yeah. No, Biff's room. I checked it. Oh. Uh, Biff's room, yeah, you got that. I got it, okay. Yeah, sometimes... I've seen triples of this, and it's insane when they get the triples done on this one. Yeah, the, uh, kind of standard strat is to get a double on these guys, but it is just too risky. Max nice for some. At least yeah, only the only the blue soldier really drops the pearls, so we only have to worry about getting 100 percent on him in one try. The other ones, if we fail, it's just like, well, this room I hate. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times that fireball has come down and burned me. So this is the rooftop. This is where we have to go to get into the sealed room. 
yeah, we will be seeing this room a lot of times, likely. <laughs> yeah, if I... Even World Record takes two tries to complete the entire room. Yeah, I really would like to get this boo in two cycles so I can save. Yeah, so all the boos up here have an insane amount of HP. Or sorry, the two rooms that we just went through. Their boos have 300 HP. Typically, um, the it takes about two cycles to get them if you're actually like good at it. But if you get unlucky with the cackles, it can sometimes take multiple cycles of them escape into a different room. Switch them. Oh, did it really switch? There you go. Yeah, so if you heard him going like, ha ha, ha ha, as opposed to like, ha ha, ha. <laughs> my noise. Um, that basically tells him that he double cackled. After 15 cackles, they attempt to escape and they will not be caught by your vacuum, but they will continue to lose health while they attempt to exit the room. Wow, okay. I missed some double cackles there, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna get him now. Yeah, so now at 20, that should be a very easy one. <laughs> like to save please hey okay, i also still need the money in the cabinet on the right need to oh, you didn't get that. That yeah this room's kind of interesting how the strat works to get all the all the ghosts a bunch of money in these chests over here Room's just satisfying. No gems, just money, money, money. Well, you uh, metaphorically get that money, money, money. Can I interest you in a couple of donations? Sure, I'd love to hear it. Uh, I have a donation here for you of two dollars and twenty-five cents. Uh, evening out that cent total um, from Goof, who says, "Hi, Mac. How's your day?" <laughs> <laughs> Also have ten dollars from the wonderful A Variety Pack, who says shout outs to Mac. Oh my god! <laughs> Continue shouting out Mac, please. This is great. <laughs> Mac is a better incentive than any of the speedrun incentives we have. I mean, you are also welcome to shout out other people, but uh, Mac purchased this, so um, he gets priority. <laughs> Quite literally pay to win at this point. Yup. <laughs> Money goes to a good cause, come on. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Keep them coming and feed Mac's ego. Oh, is it Mac or PC? Oh no. <laughs> uh, oh no. <laughs> That was terrible. <laughs> Listen, I'm just trying to sow chaos. <laughs> Speaking of chaos, this room's a little bit chaotic. As far as like the random RNG, there are six items in this room that have RNG elements to them. There's yeah. a, the only guarantee is that Ruby. A lot of these pots and the light have the RNG money. It's a bit yeah, hard three to jars <laughs> in the top row, three jars in the bottom row. During this time, we have to make sure we catch Jarvis every time that he spawns in a jar. I actually, why am I why am I saying he? It's I don't think Jarvis is anything but a jar. <laughs> Which leads me to leave. What was this ghost when it was alive? A jar. <laughs> it fell off the shelf and became a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> A pothead, someone said. <laughs> that might be the best answer. I'm, that's canon now. Come on, come on. Hey, no money in this room. Seriously, nothing? <laughs> nothing. Wow, that's unfortunate. It used to okay. be a door, and not a jar. And then... 
purposely getting this boot before the chest because this chest in this room can be very finicky. The coins can kind of go behind the boxes on the left, and it's very easy to just miss some of them. I think so before, I when I think that when this uh, run was in its early stages, the uh, money counter used to count this as an object that could go out of bounds, but I think it just gets stuck behind boxes that are in the room, but not out of bounds. Yeah, that was pretty good, go. though. Yeah. Come on, something. Come on, something. Please. <laughs> okay, we got one location. One item. <laughs> uh, we, so, uh, someone said we think we missed a coin. This time we know we didn't miss a coin because the counter ends in a one or a six. Mario. That actually tells us that we did not miss any money, luckily. Yeah. Okay, you got that one. The light's still not there. We don't come back to this room. So you have to get them right now. Okay, so just need the light and the top left. Oh, light and top left jar, alright. Mario. So one thing uh people ask, oh well, I've I've had to ask a few times. Um, can you go higher than the max percent? And while theoretically yes, the game will say no. So there's actually a uh glitch in this game, the dupe glitch, and it actually when you suck up a pearl. You can do some sort of maneuvering with it where you suck it up and walk into it at the same time and it counts as two pearls entering you even though it's the same pearl and uh when that happens it counts as two pearls and zircon eagle who actually did this run that happened to him and when the game had saved it said instead of 142 million we had 143 million but when he went to uh reload the save uh, and he completed another max percent run, the high score still only said 142 million. Which is an interesting little tidbit of this game, this... that it has a set amount. <laughs> this actually happened to me the other day as well. I actually got two pearl dupes by accident in one run. <laughs> I duped <laughs> a medium and a large. And I didn't even realize I duped a large until I saw the money count at the end. And also, I think in the legality of our rules, you still have to collect all the pearls. You can't dupe and then miss one later. It has to, if you dupe it, you still have to collect your original pearls later on. Yeah, we have, oh God, did he go up? We have essentially source requirement for, okay, he did go up. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like he was about to go to outside in the hallway. All right. Oh, don't forget the bills in this room. Yeah. Alright, so now we start the bane of our existence, the sealed room. Yeah, Let's, you want to explain what's in the sealed room? Sure, so there are a couple items in sealed room that we check for. They are uh, the chandelier, uh, four goblets, and a golden mouse. Now the golden mouse, it only needs to be one room away. But the unfortunate thing about this room, there is no door to this room. The only way to exit is to mirror warp. And the only way to enter is through the roof. And when we mirror warp, we end up back in the lobby. Okay, so he did not go. Point. He did not get the gold mouse, meaning we have to do a two-minute trek through the entire mansion to come back to the roof all over again. And I think the worst I've seen was I think Death Johnson was doing a run of this, and I think it took him 17 tries to get this. It took him like an hour and a half just to get one mouse. Hey, I'm gonna leave the speedy spirit for now, if I can save before it. Yeah, so there's a speedy spirit in this room, but we we just leave it until we. No. Oh god. Hey. Ugh, that is scary when a poison mushroom shows up in your money. You know, with your money, you have to worry about interest rates, <laughs> bankers' fees, poison mushrooms. You know, all the typical stuff you'd see in real life. I'm sorry, I hire a fiduciary to deal with my poison mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so you're missing all the right goblets, right? Yes. Yeah. Did I get the chest? You got the cup. <laughs> um, I did. I, for some reason, I thought I didn't get the that. chandelier. Chandelier. I checked. I got it. Oh, you got it. Okay. I yeah, I, I got the money. Yeah. So you had the mouse and the three goblets missing in there. Mario. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. This is how our run continues. Just 
walking. Although, uh, right now, Mini has been thinking about rerouting this. So if we miss it the first time, we just progress through the rest of the game as much as we can. And then on our way up to a different boss battle, mm -hmm. after we finish it, we will uh, actually go up and we'll finish the seal group later on. Kind of as as we're easy. on our trek, can I interest you in some more donations? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I, I, can I make a guess? Oh, okay, yeah, you can make a guess. What What is this next donation I'm going to read, have to say? Uh, shout out to Linux. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have one for that, but I should. Shout outs to Linux. I'm pretty sure somebody said that the part of the stream is actually running on Linux. So, uh, <laughs> shout outs to Linux. But I do have $5 from Happy Bear, who says, well, well, well. How the Irish Gaelics. This has been a great marathon so far, and I can't wait to see more runs. Uh, great reminder that Irish Gaelic is currently in the lead by uh, only by $40. So if you would like to uh, listen to a language that is not Irish Gaelic for some reason, when Happy Bear later runs Say No More, um, you should probably get your opinion heard by uh Oh, by us before then. Um, oh, by the way, I also have five dollars from the Prince of Nun, who says shoutouts to Mac. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Saving it for you. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, no Mac is happening, and then you just go Mac. There it is. I have to make it since when you least expect it. Okay. <laughs> I've always got to have at least one waiting in the wings. <laughs> <laughs> no one expects the Spanish Macquisition. <laughs> Hey, if you would like to uh, expect the Spanish Macquisition, donate for Spanish and also for Mac. <laughs> <laughs> so where's this boo going? We don't know. In here. <laughs> well, I messed up this room the first time I had to reload, which meant that my 1 HP boo went all the way back to full HP, which sucks. <laughs> but what I get for messing up. <laughs> Yeah, these grabbers also, when they grab you, you will lose coins when they grab you. Yeah, that's what happened to me. They got me good. So did you didn't get anything bother. in that. You didn't get anything in the cellar, did you? No, nothing in cellar on both trips. That sucks. And the pipe room bucket also didn't have its gold bar. Or did you no, check I did, it? No, I did get it. Are I you, got the gold are bar. Are you sure? Yeah, just now I got it. Okay. I'll mark it. All right, so this boo is kind of a weird, like, anomaly in the run. So if a boo is over 200, it's like next to impossible will get one cycle. But this is 300, you can consistently get this in one cycle because of how slow it moves. Yeah, if I can just kind of force him to go between these two walls. Oh god, this is not good. What are you doing? Okay, I can just suck, I guess. That's fine. We do. <laughs> I'm gonna check Cellar while I wait for him to hide. Yeah, so what can happen is if you enter the room and he hasn't hitting yet, the boo will just be there and waste time, as opposed to right now we're waiting for him to fully hide so he doesn't bounce to another room. We can check for more coins in here. Uh, more coins and mushrooms. So you got bills in that one, and oh, that right shelf is clear. So all you have left is the coins in the left shelf. Uh, should you try and save first? Uh, nah, I'm good. You sure? Alright. I trust you. So this is one of the ghosts that people tend to have a little bit of problems with. Because of the ice in this room. You can get it, you can get it. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Easy. So the ice and the fact that Weston is kind of uh, difficult to move around. Uh, like, he moves around quite a bit. Uh, you have to try and aim him with the C-stick a little bit, and that can be kind of tricky for newer players, or, in my case, me. Alright, so, at this point, we're just collecting all the booze that are down here. So now we have all four rooms unlocked. So 150. Oh, 
Alright, good one, Cycle. Nice! Good job. There has been a question from chat that's been floated around. Does anybody know the Slow Boo's name? Because they all do have, like, pun names, right? Yeah, I don't know any of their names. I'm sorry. Oh. I know there's a wiki somewhere with all the names. Oh, okay. Uh, to the wiki! <laughs> <laughs> I have counters and chats open. I don't know if I can... So you got that coin, alright. Okay, so I've got all of the money in basement now. Okay. Well, except the altar. Hello? I want to see, like, slow book. <laughs> or, I am beautiful. Alright, so all the boos are now clear down here, so... And there's the Van Gore text. Yep, thank you. <laughs> so whenever you see the orange text, you know he's talking about Van Gore, and that's the longest text you can get from a boo. It might be Boolean. It might not be. <laughs> okay, um, I still need this, I think. Yeah, you still need that base. Still need that base. <laughs> and this light here, I think. Uh, up here? No, you got that. Oh, I got it, okay. I just yep. Didn't um, it. the one you are missing is the base outside Soupy's room. Yes. Yeah, so now I think we're doing Soupy right now. Uh, that's, not that's... yet. So I don't oh. have the key. Oh, right, you don't have the key. Right. Oh, yeah, you do Vangor next. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in, so in any other category that does Supi, which is one of the optional portrait ghosts, you would do Supi on the way to Van Gogh, but because we need to rely on getting the mouse in sealed room, which needs the room to be dark and it's RNG, it makes more sense to just leave Supi till the very end. Assuming we don't get the mouse first try. So this boss ghost is, is basically just summon three of each ghost, and you have to get really good triplets on them. Yeah, so the, the lore behind the game is that this guy is painting all of the regular ghosts and he just makes them magically come to life. I've always seen all these triplets as like high school clicks. <laughs> like the orange ghosts are kind of like the, the nerdy video gamers. The pink ghosts are kind of like the, the mean girls. The blue ones are kind of like the football team. The shy guys are the shy guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're the drama group. Uh, the grabbers, I kind of see like uh, snitches. Mm. Oh, he's getting away! Grab him! I, I'm scared to ask what the bomber ghosts are. Uh, teachers. Oh, okay. So they just hit you with bombs of homework. <laughs> Garbage cans ghosts are the uh, the smokers. Say smokers because I don't want to go any further than that, I guess. <laughs> right, and nice triples. Yeah, no. Wait, did I miss it? Or did, did we go through high school clicks and an artist and not hit the art kids? No, that's the art teacher. <laughs> Why is yeah. nobody in the art class one of the, the, the like, art I said, kids? I, I said the Shy Guys were, like, the drama club. Okay, club I guess that's close. That's an art, that's an art form. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a two-cycle on this guy. Oh, well, that didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> So you notice what Minnie did was he moved him away from the light, because if he gets in light, sometimes he'll double cackle, and that can cause him to leave the room earlier. So he basically just lets him get a long cackle, and then lets him move a little bit. Okay, so... Now, other than a few random money locations I'm still missing, I am onto the part of the run where I just run up and down the mansion until I get the sealed room mouse. So I have nothing else left to check. Yeah, so basically your items you have left to check are two vases in the hallway, um, parlor chandelier, anteroom chandelier, 
and the bills in this room. Yes. Oh, and the laundry room bucket. We still don't have that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we got, got the bills. bills. All right, come on, LM bless RNG. This is a time we really need yeah, this mouse. LM bless RNG. Get Do your it. get your gold mice in the chat. Come on. Come on, be gentle. Nope. Okay, I Dang got it. that one. Got the speedy spirit now. While we're running up and down the mansion, do you have time for a donation? Yes, absolutely. Wonderful. Here's $50 from beautiful Mandy, who says, uh, oh, this is specifically addressed to me. Pippi, can you work your host magic and split my shout out in half? Try my best. Uh, half a shout out goes to Mac. Shout outs to Mac. And the other <laughs> half the shout out goes to Linux. Thanks. Thanks, Lit. Hey, so I got Thanks, all three gold bars. <laughs> Alright, so all yeah, literally, all you need is the mouse. So, yeah. literally, if you have a bunch of donations, all we're doing right now is running up and down. I'm gonna actually get the parlor stuff now, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. so like, the usually, light in here and the left chandelier. Yeah, the left chandelier and light. So, come on. So, there's that one. You got that. Mm hmm. Where's the love for Ubuntu? Nice. I know you how you can show some love for Ubuntu. <laughs> yeah, this is clear. Right. Yeah, so... Just the vases on the way. Unless you want to do bucket right now. No, I'll leave that. Uh, right. So it's the... The one by the shortcut door. And yeah. the one next to Supi. Exactly, yeah. Come on, come on. Oh my god. <laughs> How is that not showing up? Alright, yeah. Do you think we can just allow donations? Yeah, go for it. Alright. Well, real quick, uh, because I assume we have time, uh, a reminder that all of the lovely donations that we're going to read while we walk up and down um, are going to Planned Parenthood Federation of America. Always remember. Um, and it is a, it legitimately a wonderful cause that means a lot to so many people. Um, they provide very vital access to uh, health care services to people who wouldn't otherwise have it, including, but not limited to, uh, oh god, my page just refreshed on me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 including, but not limited to, safe birth control, hormone therapies, STI treatments, and more. I just gotta get all the acronyms correct. Um, and, uh, the, they support all sorts of, uh, of people and provide a very vital service so all donations are very welcome and rejects and friends is happy to support them once again thank you everyone so much for all of your lovely donations so far now watch a golden mouse please please my hands are literally praying nope okay you have to mirror warp though because you got your yeah 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 we have a lot of time for donations now Actually, before we just start the donations, I will say there's actually a strat where you can clip into the sealed room and it would, in theory, save like 30 seconds on each one of these trips. Um, I tried to learn it and it's just really hard. I, I couldn't do it. I will well, don't, you have to get, don't you have to get hit to get skewed? Yeah, you have to get hit so you drop some coins, but you have time to pick them up again. It's just really awkward. But in like... Around this corner, I'll show you where it is. Basically, these stairs up here, there are some bats, and if you... You can get what's called a skew on the bats, which I will be showing a lot of later, because we did hit the Out of Bounds Showcase. Ooh. But you can get a skew on these stairs using these bats up here and clip through that wall into the sealed room. But it's too hard, I'm just taking the long way. Wait, I thought this wasn't the Breath of the Wild run. Wait, <laughs> skew came back? Wait! Not, not yet. 
You have skew and also map glitch, and this isn't a Zelda run? Listen, yeah, Zelda just ripped us off. They, yeah, they all stole it from us. This game came out before TP, way before Breath of the Wild. I, I don't know what the deal is, but we own these glitches. <laughs> you got copyright on glitches now? Listen, if you there's copyright, a trademark. There, there's a trademark out there. I'm like candy, for example. <laughs> So I, I guess um, the Zelda community's in trouble. Yeah. Listen, we're looking. We're rich. We have our lawyers. If we get the mouse right here, I'll forget them. <laughs> On. If we don't get the mouse, does that mean we're blaming the Zelda community? Yes. Yeah, we're blaming. Blaming some. Yep, we're blaming them. Community. Oh my goodness. I did save before that one, so I can just quit the game normally now. It's like a tiny right. bit faster than the mirror warp. You yeah, heard right. it here first, folks. That one was all the fault of the Zelda community. And considering that uh, we're surrounded by Zelda community here at Rejects and Friends, <laughs> um, we all get to partake in the blame. How does it feel? <laughs> it's a community of blame. Can uh, donate for uh, for better luck next time, so that I don't have to feel the shame and the blame again. <laughs> yeah, it would, be a, it would be a shame if my run was surrounded by two Zelda runs. I would really feel threatened right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why do these Zelda runs look intimidating? Listen, every Zelda run is intimidating. I, I think Luigi's Mansion can look a little intimidating too. I I've seen the Out of Bounds. What what are you doing? <laughs> uh, I'm excited for the Out of Bounds Showcase. Maybe someday I'll learn to understand what's going on. <laughs> I, I'll try my best. Hopefully we get the mouse soon so my Out of Bounds Showcase doesn't have to end like two minutes in. I was gonna say, like, at what point do we just abandon Golden Mouse and just be like, well, we pretend it's Max Ascent. <laughs> for I, marathon purposes. I don't know. I, I should get it once. If I, if I get it and fail to get the money, then I'm not gonna try again. Yeah, that, I think but, I think that's fair. How often does that happen? I should get fire. Uh, uh, more often than I'd like to admit. I kind of suck. <laughs> it's been a while since I failed the golden mouse, but I have seen it happen. I, I have practiced it a lot, so I really hope it doesn't happen. But it is definitely a possibility. That feels like the worst insult to injury. Possible. It absolutely is. Let's see if I get it. Come on. Okay. So oh one of my, my practice runs, I, I failed to get the money, and I kept reloading it, and I think I reloaded like 25 times or more, and I didn't get it again. So, oh. that was unfun. Yeah. Eventually I just gave up. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is the state of this run when you get towards the end, it's just, you get super unlucky, and I have to mirror warp this time. Yep. Uh, Hopefully what? we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, we're gonna get the mouse, it's fine. What makes you have to mirror warp versus being able to save and quit out title? Or I, I think that's what... I think yeah, I understand. Because <laughs> so, if, if I get money, so I just got a gold bar on that trip, so if I were to just quit the game in Sealed Room, then I would lose that gold bar I just oh. got. But then on the last trip, I didn't get any money, so I wouldn't lose anything from quitting. I see. I need to, like, save this gold bar. Hey, Leanne. Oh. Oh. Give me good luck. We got a raid. <laughs> Everyone Leanne. join us. <laughs> we need your good luck. We need good luck. Is this a good time to welcome the raiders and tell them Absolutely. that Rejects and Friends Rapid Fire 2023 is underway? Uh, we are raising money for Planned Parenthood Federation of America. It's an incredible cause. And if you have some money to spare and is within your means, please consider using exclamation point donate in the chat to help us out. Um, Minnie is doing a, a RNG check repeatedly until we get this. Um, so wish him luck or ill luck. It's up to you, really. Yep. All right. Another chance here. Come on. Dang. Oh my god, I, I'm putting a hit on this mouse. <laughs> Has anyone been keeping track of tries? Five. Dang. 
below it's average. Been five tries. That that has been ten minutes. Mario. It, hmm. I I guess I just can't count because again, speedrunner can't count. But I I swear I thought it was more than five. I think I'm just stuck in a time loop. Oh, it just takes so long. <laughs> it feels like ten times <laughs> each try. So, uh, one thing that's also kind of an insult to injury is that every time we walk up, we walk past the door that is sealed. Mm. So, this door right, right here, here would yeah, go so into the, the sealed room. But... <laughs> so, the thing that's actually blocking it is a fireplace. Uh, so, so instead way... of putting a hit on the mouse, can you put a hit on the glitch that will let you through that sealed door so that you can just exit and re enter the door and retry over and over that way? Three. Yeah, what if we put a bounty out for consistent glitching into the room? <laughs> yeah. Listen, I mean, Luigi's yeah. got so much money. He doesn't even need that mouse, but he wants it anyway. Okay. But Luigi's got so much money, I think he should offer the bounty. Unfortunately, every time we talk to Luigi, he tends to be in Area 1, so he doesn't have a lot to start with. But Luigi we want to deal with is in Area 4. <laughs> yeah, but most friends don't get here. <laughs> but when they do get here, boy, do they spend a long time in Area 4. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, I'm with chat. He has a mansion. He's obviously secretly rich. This is King Boo's mansion. He just has to steal it from King Boo. Alright, another try? Come on! LM bless please, RIG. Please, 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 please! Yes! It worked! Fousey! Don't miss any coins, please. <laughs> we got it. We got it, yes! We got all the money. Good job, everyone! <laughs> Here, so here's what I say now. Uh, whenever someone asks us for the requirements of this run, uh, you have to click five cheese mice, four uh, RNG mice, and one rat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. that was painful. That was that was not the worst in the world. But we've seen much, much worse. And the money spread was really nice there. Yeah, it was barely anywhere. Now, we save. <laughs> Thank God for that. Okay, so while we have the good luck, I'm going to do the bucket right now. So we oh, talked about this yeah. way earlier. <laughs> this bucket it spawns five coins, but they can spawn out of bounds. Let's see. Not this time. Uh... I don't know if it's faster to I, use this or... I never found out which one's faster to respawn, reload this room. It's just uh, really awkward to reload this room. Can you do me a favor and can you save the game like four more times just in case? Just in case! You know. <laughs> I will do my best. <laughs> Thank you! Uh, uh, and there it goes, and yeah, one. There it goes. So I'm not sure you saw it, it literally bounced into the wall and then it disappeared. And our theory is that there's no floor out of bounds, so the coin literally falls, like, below the mansion, where it just despawns. Yeah, so we just try this until we get it. And normally this bucket is not too mean, but sometimes it just can be. <laughs> sometimes you just get, like, ten in a row, where it just goes Chilla out of bounds. Chill is saying foyer is faster. Hmm. Is it? Okay. Maybe I will do that then. I'm also thinking that just quitting and reloading might be faster. Ugh. I'm counting. Alright. Come on, bucket. So it takes about 15 seconds for foyer. I'll do the... Oh. Oh, I'll do it next time. Yeah. But yeah, as well as the coins going out of bounds, then uh, this is also just an RNG location, so we don't even get to see if the coins are going to go out of bounds half the time. for Alter to take just as long. Um, next time? <laughs> you, didn't do, you didn't do the secret room? Oh no, I'm, I'm trying this. <laughs> okay. I think the hidden room is slow. Oh, not even giving me the option One, to see the coins. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
Yeah, this is like a second faster than just walking. And that, that coin's gone. <laughs> God! I want to find the developer of that one bucket. So if the <laughs> mouse was the, the, the Zelda community's fault, um, whose fault is the bucket? Uh, this the is Dark our Souls fault. community. The Dark Souls <laughs> sure. community? I'll just find a random game and blame them. <laughs> Thanks, was the, Dark Souls. The Mario Party Advance community. <laughs> why is it? Why is it we run games of RNG? I don't get it. Uh, that's kind of what you do. <laughs> I just follow you. <laughs> that's true remember, friendship. Or rejection, my... I'm not sure. <laughs> Remember my daily Mario Party runs? Yep. Yeah. Oh, daily. I'm just suffering. Ten months of grinding one game. And that coin is gone. Two coins are gone that time. Two coins are gone. I think the worst I've seen is that four of the five coins went out of bounds. Oh my god. <laughs> You know, may maybe this isn't RNG, and actually, every time it looks like nothing spawns, they're just all five of them going out of bounds. Yeah. Um, point your vacuum more towards the door. There we go. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay, go save. Yeah. I, I really shouldn't it. mess up soupies and sitting room, but I somehow managed to do it last time. <laughs> so. Okay, and that is the last RNG location other than sitting room. Oh, not sitting room. The other room. Uh, Just yeah, room. you got yeah, you got everything else. Mario. Hmm. Max minus one coin percent. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I say no more RNG. There is a there's one more that we'll see. If, if there's one any um, if there's anyone else that's seen the witness that game, they actually have a ninety nine point seven percent run of that game. Nice. It's because there's a there's one in there. You literally have to sit for a solid hour. Literally, you oh, can't yeah. do anything else. I remember and, that. Um, and then the 99.7% just ignores that one puzzle. And we gotta watch some flowers. And some ghosts. They need to grow too. Reminder for chat purpose. to hydrate, even if you're a ghost. Okay. I should do thank that. you. A actually, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Have we no, all forgot to hydrate this entire run? A sore throat, and I'm forgetting to hydrate. Not a good combo. Yeah. Remember to water your ghosts, especially the ones that are sleeping upside down. While they're sleep, yeah, while they're in bed. And that is not a joke. We we have to water this ghost. You see, we're making her act like she's wet in the bed. I think. Yeah, and I'm gonna do this super safe. These little toys fly around and can hit you. And I am just gonna suck them up before they have a chance to do that. That's a good plan, honestly. Like, in Marathon Run, absolutely. But in real runs, you kind of have to suck up Soupy while dodging those yeah. toys that come and at you. Soupy has, like, the, the hardest ghost to suck up. Just has such a strong pull, and you have to track her really well to get damage on her. That was pretty good, actually. That was, that was really clean. All right. And all pearls are clear. Alright, we did not get any accidental pearl jukes this run. Okay, nice. Nice. That's the last RNG item. Aside from Alter just being RNG in itself. Uh, coin? Um... Behind the bed? Mm, I heard it. <laughs> okay. Oh! Uh, it's gone. That's fine. You have, you have to redo I, Soupy all over, don't you? No, I saved on the boot. I got the boot. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. I just need to get that cabinet again. Uh, actually, I want water. Not fine. I do need to get the other plant as well. Oh, the... Uh, oh, the Sapphire Emerald. There are right. two gold bars in the chest, right? No, uh, you missed the gold bar on the balcony, remember? Do, do I still need that? Yeah, you still need that. Uh, okay. 
I thought there that were two gold bars in this chest. No, I'm pretty certain there's only one. Well, we'll see in a second. Yeah. You 59, you need to go to the balcony. If there's 60, you got it. I did not need to check that. Mario. Yeah, I think there's only one gold bar there. Yeah, okay. Huh, I really thought I did get the balcony one. I thought I you I'm, missed one. And... I'm missing something at least. <laughs> Oh yeah, and this RNG cabinet. Or no, yeah, you still need this. There you go. Hey, and my coins and bills. Wait, no, I have 60. I got two. Oh, what? I'm fine. Oh, oh. Yeah. what the hell? Okay. <laughs> I've got everything. I, I question everything in life now. <laughs> yes, they were just like perfectly on top of each other. It looked like one. And then I'm going to purposely not save on this boo, because this boo, when you suck it up, drops a gold diamond. If I were to save, it would be before picking up the diamond, which means if I were to reload that save, this gold diamond would be gone forever. So I'm purposely not saving until after I pick that up. Remember Fi Fi during the No Out of Bounds race in 100% and he forgot to pick yeah. up the gold diamond at all? Okay, all right. so check everything. I have- wait, I'm missing, uh, sapphire. What? Uh... You're not, you're not missing any coins, so it's a sapphire on its own. Hmm. Let me go to- Oh, you the butler head. one? Hold on. Hold up. <laughs> no, you didn't, because you had the normal- normal mansion. Did I not get that? Oh, uh, because you weren't- you didn't suck up during there. Okay, yeah. Good. <laughs> I thought I did get it, but yeah. There we go. Now we're good. See what hidden hidden normal mansion does to you? Yeah, all because my capture card takes 10 years to turn on. So when I had to hard reset, <laughs> had to hard reset yeah. because of sandwich, I could not see. I'll say save doing. again. Yeah. Okay, so we just have to go to the final room, pick up 20 coins, 20 bills, a gold bar, and the last sapphire. And unfortunately, this altar sucks. Yeah. So remember the bucket. This is. Like the bucket, except literally at the very, very, very end of the run. <laughs> the last money location you get can spawn out of bounds. Yeah, my sub 2 run, I took a risk to get this, and I basically was screaming when this happened, because all I needed to do was beat King Boo then. <laughs> Come on. So yeah, this, uh... I don't know what it's called, this like pillar thing on the right. Just gonna be looking for any coins going through the wall. I would like to enter 1536 I coins. Yeah, that's not it. I missed one. Yeah, I yeah. think there's one gone. Yeah. Yeah, two went out and I only got one. Yeah. yeah when so when they do go out of bounds like that, there is a chance that you can still get them. So I guess there's like a little bit of floor that extends out there, but I only managed to get one of them that time. What I do is I aim downwards, and then I aim my vacuum kind of towards the outer wall. So that like kind of like... out of bounds. Yeah. I'll that's that. that's typically what I tend to do. I tend to get pretty good luck like doing that. If you want to give that a try. Sure. Also, my health is good. Need a hundred. Well, at least yeah. This points. also this also does count as your gold portrait for King Boo. Yeah, I could finish the run with all of the money, but if I have less than ninety health, then it doesn't count. Oh, I think I got it. Uh. We got it. Okay. Nice. Just gotta get. You didn't two. do the strat I I said, but it still worked. Did I, I not? Successfully oh. failed. So that's what you meant. No, uh, I, I actually, what I do is I hover by the gold bar altar and aim towards it, and oh, then I aim I see. Little... Okay. Yeah. All right, anyway. so all we have left is the final boss battle. Okay, and all we, we gotta do is not lose 10 health on this fight, and not lose coins as well. So when King Boo enters the vacuum, not when he's like at zero, but when he finally enters is when the time stops. Yeah. So, the, uh, the classic strat for King Boo is to go for a two cycle, which is what I'm going to be doing. But it is possible to get a one cycle, but it is 
really difficult and really risky in this category because it's extremely easy to get hit by accident and lose health and coins. So I'm not going to be going for a one cycle. I'm going to be going for some, some quick shots with the spiky balls though. See if I can hit his head from a bit early. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to be doing the classic two cycle. So I have, I have learned the one cycle, but in all of my time practicing it, I've gotten it like six times in hours and hours of practice. Good luck. Thanks. So I'm gonna just walk down here, stand behind this pillar, and I use the Game Boy to aim. And just wait for him to throw his balls. Oh, okay, wow, I'm uh, just not what? even touching them. <laughs> what are you what are you What's that? Right, I was trying to get the quick shots, but I just didn't even touch the ball, that's why. It's a little awkward now to do this two cycle because now Bowser will charge you each time. Okay, I'm gonna go this side. Do not like how close he is to the wall over there. Yeah. You're not gonna go for any dumb coin shots here. Oh, look. I was worried that pillar was gonna block him. And time. That was a scuffed two cycle, but I got the two cycle. You got the two cycle. Good job, GG. And that should be max percent. We will go and count the money. And count make sure. You just imagine counting the coins. One, <laughs> two, three. Yeah, we're, we're, gonna, we're, we're gonna put all of our money into one of those machines that counts it for us. Oh, like the cash and cash. Yeah. Thing. I forget what they're called. Hmm. Cash. No idea. <laughs> Cash thing. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise known as a bank. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, while this is going, I should set up my emulator because we did reach the out of bounds showcase, which I will be doing on emulator. <laughs> it's got this little cutscene. You can do some donations if you have them while we wait for this. Uh, we can also, though, uh, give shoutouts, well, first of all, shoutouts to Mac, but uh, second of all, shoutouts <laughs> to, <laughs> to you guys for uh, a wonderful run. GG's. I'm so sorry that the Zelda community messed up your RNG. It was really rude of us. Um, yeah. But real You nearly made me do a spit take. <laughs> 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 Hydration is important. Um, <laughs> but uh, while we are, are waiting for our coin counter to do its thing, um, where can the lovely people find you if they would like to see more RNG pain? Uh, well, mini mini 352 on Twitch. I do lots of games, mostly Zelda games these days, Wind Waker. But I do some Luigi's Mansion. And uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash airshock22. Uh, because of my work, my weekends are on Tuesday, Wednesday, so I tend to stream on Tuesdays. Um, I try and get Luigi's Mansion. I sometimes do Jackbox games with viewers if there's enough people in the chat. And uh, those are always fun as well. Can you speedrun Jackbox for us? People have happen? done them. Can that happen at the next reject? <laughs> <laughs> Well, here, they did a run of uh, Trivia Murder Party, which you all have to fail the question at the same time, and you have to do it eight players. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, one of uh, hey. Mario Party 7 runners did that. It's got the money counter going. And... 142, 390,000. That is the correct hey. number. Hey, how do you have the higher score with the dupe? <laughs> that That's from my dupes the other day, I guess. I, I, thought, I thought I didn't save. Apparently it does. There's what? a new max percent in town. Oh no! <laughs> Win Mini has world record with that one. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We got all the money, and now I'm ready to do the showcase, which we apparently have seven to nine minutes for. All right. So, it's very anyway. specific. We'll try. Hopefully, my setup. So if you're nine minutes, <laughs> if you're nine minutes and one second, we have a problem. Banned forever. Banned. 
Oh no, how are we gonna find enough runners for our Jackbox party pack to run next time if we ban Mini? <laughs> that makes us sound like we're expendable. <laughs> I, I, I think I meant the opposite. That we're, we're definitely not expendable. You don't find a Jackbox runner every day. <laughs> no, you need eight people to cooperate on that. Uh, where did I put my safe states? There, okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, By the way, Minnie, I want to point out, uh, because of your routing of the last uh, segment, you had a gold split on my splits. Nice. <laughs> Reset, do not save, not mine. I don't think I've seen the end uh, of Luigi's Mansion in a long time. I did not remember Luigi cruelly laughing. <laughs> <laughs> he, he does laugh a lot. It, oh. says, it says a lot. The rich man now laughing at the at the misery of other people. Yeah. <laughs> Luigi, where's your empathy? I'm still waiting for the donations. Everyone else gave shoutouts to Mac. Why didn't you? Uh, I think Luigi did a shoutout to Mac. Did Luigi do a shout out to Mac? Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh. Sorry, just setting up my thing. Is it working? There we go. Can you see the uh, emulator? <laughs> okay, I see. Oh, yeah, you have it saved here. Okay. Okay. Is it gonna work? See, so, yeah, I see you. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yep. So, we just beat Chauncey. <laughs> Here we go, I have a safe state just after beating Chauncey. And my emulator is being weird. Hold on. Decompressing state. Why is it frozen? <laughs> okay. I mean, it is a, gl it is a glitch showcase. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna like walk through the any percent run. So you see this chest here. This chest is very close to this wall. And if I hold upright after beating Chauncey, I can just kind of walk behind this chest. So I'm kind of stuck between this chest and the wall right now. If I pull the vacuum and let go and press up, I am now here. So this is something we call floor 1.5. So I'm basically between that floor down there and this floor up here. So you can see the floor beneath me is what's loaded, but actually the hitboxes are from the floor above. So you can see there's a wall down here, but I can just walk through here like there's nothing here. Because if I look on my map, you see, uh, so there's a door like beneath me, but my hitboxes are from above. So there's that green hallway on the left. That's the collision that I'm dealing with right now. So I can just walk straight through here. And then if we go over here and see there is a door over here, which is why I cannot walk through here. But I can just walk through this door like this and there is a very long animation. Because Luigi struggles to walk through doors out of bounds, apparently. Okay, so now I'm over here and I switch to sidestep mode, which is this, which is what you can see how Luigi is like not facing the direction he's walking. And once you're in sidestep, you can get what's called a skew, which I'm going to try to get on these bats here. So let me make a safe state. So I'm going to try to get this bat to hit me in a specific way. So you see Luigi is now skewed, and there is a wall here, but having a skew should let me just squeeze on through that corner. So that's kind of the basis of how Out of Bounds works in this run. You get a skew and it lets you clip through stuff. So we continue on down here. You also have to be careful not to spawn ghosts, because if Luigi gets scared, he will clip into the hallway below him. Yeah, I will... Make another safe state. We want to get another skew. Like this. That's not going to work. Let's try again. There we oh, go. That's, that's a good fun. skew. That is a beautiful skew. <laughs> Line it up. And now we're going to do what's called biff clip. So I can just kind of... Okay, I can clip up apparently. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this, this should not happen. <laughs> I give a bad skew. Let's try that. Wow, I've never seen this before. Okay, hold on. Let me. I'm gonna just purposely make my skew a bit worse. The skew was too beautiful. Okay, let's try this. 
There we go. So now I'm clicked into this room and I want to hold a very specific direction on my control stick. And then I'm going to press A and X to unpause and then pull out the camera one frame later. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try again. Uh, actually, I should not be vacuuming. Okay, and we fall all the way down to the basement when we do that. So this is where the end of the game is. So you see over here there's King Boo, and over here is Out of Bounds. And you see this hallway is kind of curvy. There is a very, very, very thin line that we have to walk along. Where if we go too far right, we end up out of bounds and we are stuck forever. And on the left, there is a cutscene trick with King Boo. So we have to try to very carefully maneuver on this tiny sliver of collision. And in an 80% run, what you do is you do what's called YOLO walk, where you just kind of go for it. And I guess I'll try that a few times. You kind of just... So that was too far left. I'll try again. Oh wow, I got a second try. Wow! <laughs> and you're in King Boo's room now, and you can just beat the game. So that is how an 80% run of this game goes. You do all of that stuff I just did in about 40 seconds. So you beat Chauncey, 40 seconds later you're ready to beat the final boss. Now, you can just go and beat the boss from here, but there is something else I would like to show off. There is, you see King Boo is over here, you see he has a crown on his head. And that crown is a, a red diamond. And it is actually a red diamond that is just floating there. And if we can find a way to get over there without activating the cutscene, we can just grab that red diamond. And there is actually a trick to do that, which I will try to do. It's very annoying, so we'll see how it goes. But basically, I'm going to try to walk to the left and scan this thing at the same time. Okay, this might work if I can. If I don't get softlocked. I got softlocked. Okay. <laughs> I love Sometimes you get softlocked when you do that. I, I have no idea what causes it. I got soft locked again. Just gonna try this. I think that might have worked. There we go. So now we kind of cancelled the cutscene from playing and we can just walk around here freely. And if we just walk over here, we can just suck the crown off of his head. And when you do this, the game gets incredibly confused. So this is what we call crown theft. And you see the game is acting as if we just beat King Boo. And also, Mario has lost his mustache for some reason. <laughs> I think Luigi did for a second, too. <laughs> so, uh, we do this. Let's see if I can speed up the game. Yeah, so it basically just acts as if you just you just beat the game. And we're going to go through these cutscenes. I was head isn't even in there. <laughs> I think I have a save state. So we don't have to watch all of this. If I can find it fast enough. Yeah, Luigi's yeah. moving that fast. We couldn't get him to move that fast on our sealed room attempts. Uh, uh okay, whatever. I'm at where That's my safety is awesome. anyway. <laughs> okay, so we're going to just act. The game is like, oh, you just beat the game. Except, instead of going to the credits, it just goes back to normal gameplay. So we can just, like, enter the mansion and do normal stuff and but the game is in this weird state where like it thinks it's beaten but we're still playing it and it has some very interesting consequences so let's see so if you can just imagine we we go back to chauncey's room and we do all of that out of bounds stuff again we go back to king boo's room after doing crown theft what do you guys think will happen there's going to be a, a secret in the altar I want you guys to put your guesses in chat as to what's going to be there waiting for us. I actually don't remember, so I'm going to say nothing. You have until... Uh, did you... oh, do I have a safe state for this? Uh, also, we are low, running low on time, so you may just I do not. Okay, yeah. I'll have to just do it. Gotta be a gamer. Do you have a safe state for that? I apparently don't. I thought I made a safe state in Alta to do this, but I don't have it. Oh, shoot. Okay, it's fine. 
We have some guesses from chat. Would you like to hear some thoughts from I, chat? I would love to hear the guesses. Um, my personal favorite is it's going to be a variety pack cameo. Yeah, that's right. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, also, I just want her to show up. <laughs> Mario's glove, Luigi's clone. Okay. Mario in the nude. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I have some questions about that one. Um, uh, just another toad, another crying toad that you didn't get during max percent. That's that's my guess now. That invalidates your max percent run. <laughs> it would, it yeah, would invalidate it. Also, what's funny is that you can actually crown theft uh, during the Bowser boss battle. And if you do that, your run is actually invalidated. Yeah, okay, let's... It can happen by complete accident. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Let's try again. Come on, you can do it. Dude, come on. You can do it. Okay. Let's try to go for Yolo Walk again. That was too far right. Too far right. Too far left. <laughs> okay. If any of you said <laughs> Luigi's disembodied arm, you win. <laughs> someone said <laughs> Mario's glove and someone said Lo <laughs> <laughs> Someone said Luigi's clone, which is kind yeah, of funny. You, put them you have about ten percent of the answer. <laughs> so uh Did you yeah. You, you do crown theft, you come here, Luigi's arm <laughs> is just chilling. <laughs> That's a huge arm! <laughs> yeah, it's very large. <laughs> okay, um... I'm, I know we're running out of time, I just really quickly want to show you something else, which I'm pretty sure I have the save state ready for. Uh, okay, so, if we did Crown Theft, we go out of bounds again, we do... There's a bunch of stuff we can do, which I don't have time to show you, but you can get from the out of bounds clip to Bogmire in like a minute. So you can do some out of bounds stuff and end up at Bogmire. So I'm going to show you what happens if you do Crown Theft and then you come and beat Bogmire. So here we go. Remember the game is in this confused state, doesn't know what's going on. There's actually a miscellaneous category called Bogmire's Key, which is just to get here as fast as possible and beat him. Yeah. So we just beat Bogmire and we beat the game. <laughs> so this this is credits warp in Luigi's Mansion. We beat the game without ever beating King Boo. Just this by is my stealing favorite his type of speed run. What? <laughs> I'm having um, a great time right now. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I think that's all we have time to show, so I, I hope you enjoyed the glitches. Well, <laughs> like, thank you. Okay, bro, I don't know what you're trying to do, but GG. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing too hard. Thank you so much, Mini Mini and Airshock, for the incredible run and uh, for beating the game twice, I guess. <laughs> yep. I, I, I think. Uh, everybody, please... <laughs> Go give our, our runner and commentator uh, a follow and support in their their future endeavors while Luigi laughs again. What a jerk. What a jerk. <laughs> he's, also he's also cry laughing. It's not just regular laughter. <laughs> I, I have some thoughts about Luigi after this, but thank you so much for <laughs> this incredible run um, and this beautiful glitchy showcase. Yeah, for thanks us. for having us. And thanks for donating for the glitch showcase. <laughs> it was Thank very, very much worth for having it. me, guys. <laughs>